on the shore, I'll take my chance when into danger. I want to taste life more and more, but you need a little risk for the perfect This is just station under no control. I'm casting for you to let go. This is your station under no control. person is the whole problem. Are we going to allow this guy to be heard by anyone who can turn a dial? I've got a pirate radio station. Nobody knows who he is. You out there? You listening? Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Kevin Holly Show. Lots of hot mic. <laughs> oh, man, I did, uh, I took a nervous poop earlier. I did it again. I did it. But I'm here and I'm happy. I'm sorry, man. But that way, I did it in the bathroom. I didn't do it in the studio. Then what's that smell? I don't know, man. Your upper lip. Oh! Everything stores itself. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's the Kevin Holly Show. It's Wednesday night. We got Stand Down Deo, talk show host extraordinaire, open mic live, the show.com, open mic live. Thursday nights on the IRN, the Internet Radio Network. Welcome to the Kevin Holly Show, Stan. Hey, thank you, Kevin. You're welcome, man. You let me come in. I'm so happy that you're here. Are you really? I am. You're the first person to ever say that to That's me. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true, dude. I've been oh, dude. twice, bitch. Fuck off. <laughs> why, did, why would you call her a bitch, though, dude? No, you guys call her a bitch. Oh, oh, that's acceptable. That's fine. I get that all the time. I no, get worse told that. me that's what your nickname was. No, she didn't say that, dude. Oh. Uh, so we have a chat room available if you're listening to us on Spreaker.com slash The Kevin Holly Show or on... KevinHollyShow.com. Same chat room. Uh, welcome Joni into the chat room. Joni! Also, we're on Facebook Live tonight. Hello, everybody out there on Facebook. Joni loves Chompy. <laughs> Chompy, what's up? So, Stan's going to be manning the uh, Facebook chat board tonight, right? Am I right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'll be doing the uh, the Spreaker uh, website uh, chat room as well. I'll uh, put everything you always taught me in to watching the chat board. Oh, so yeah. you're going you're gonna to squeeze it for everything it's worth? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> what? Stock talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we're probably not going to do the stock market thing tonight. Why? Well, because Mosh is in here, dude, and he, uh, made, he made like $246 tonight. The show. <sighs> I'm sorry, Except dude. That part. I mean, we could, still, we could still talk about it, but... Um, Can we not talk about it? Yeah, that's fine, oh, too. Yeah. Woo! Woo-hoo! So uh, social distancing, uh, in case you're wondering, yes, we are essential, and also we are essential. And also, we're six feet away. And asexual? Look at my asexual, bisexual, bisexual. <laughs> oh man, I got the loud tablet tonight, man. Oh, dude, I was thinking tonight would be kind of fun, Stan. If maybe we went live on live with another show. Hold on, first I got to try to pronounce his name. Uh oh, Paul Padub <laughs> Wizardlo. Wiz- why is it low? Why is it low? <laughs> Let's just call him Pavel. Why is that low? Why is that low? Why is that low? What? <laughs> Who is that? Uh, I would go to his house, but why is down now where it is? <laughs> why is that low? Can you go? <laughs> oh, uh, Pavel. He's um uh, uh, an old friend of mine from uh, the early 2000s. We um worked together, and uh, he was a stand-up employee, great employee, great buddy, great friend. Uh, had dinner with him a few times, been to the house. Uh, dude, good guy. Oh, so after this show, he'll remain an old friend. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> listen, he's crass as hell, though, man. He'll go on there and, and in the chat board or on uh, Facebook or whatever social media. He'll jump in and call somebody an asshole. He has no shame. <laughs> oh, is his nickname Glick? No. <laughs> nobody hates Glick. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I don't know. He probably doesn't. Everybody hates Glick. <laughs> nobody hates Glick. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy. But <laughs> <laughs> no, P-Dub is cool, man. Uh, Pavel is how you say his name. Um, he was a uh, police officer in Escambia County for uh, a, a bit of a stint. And uh, now he's a truck driver, if I'm not mistaken. 
recently bought a Corvette. So he makes more money now. Yeah, and he made fun of me for looking old. But if you, you look, kind of look old. I do, but well, I mean, I kind of am. It's the gray hair, though, right? A little bit, yeah. You know, how old are you? Forty-four. Holy fuck, you are old. You're way older than I you am. You be my uncle. I know, dude. I, you can call me daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, welcome to the show, everybody. It's Wednesday night. We got the Kevin Holly Show live, popping in the studio. Even though Mosh isn't here, I'm I'm gonna take the reins for Mosh, and I'm gonna use words like popping. It's on. Mm, Popping tonight. What up, Steve? Homie. Steve Callback. Steve Callback, another legend. Oh man, I've got the coolest friends, dude. Steve Callback. We used to hang out and just, you know, rape. Ch- I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> we never call you back though. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'll tell you what, man. He's part of the reason that this show even exists because back in the day, uh, we. No, I'm serious, man. We would make prank phone calls and record ourselves and just do the silliest, stupidest shit. You know. Hold on. What? We just had a celebrity belch. A celebrity belch. Spicoli just belched in your chat room. Welcome, welcome, where's the, welcome. Spicoli. Where's the op? Where's the, where's the I'm right here. There's a, it's all R's and P's. This burp. That's how he burps, dude. He burps with his lips shut. He's like. That's polite. How do you do that? So you don't have to smell it. I guess, but I mean, I've been to the shed before. SpicoliTV.com, by the way. Friday nights on the IRN. The, the, the men. The men. They are the men. They are the men. Dale and uh, uh, I should Smitty. say Smitty. Smitty. Yeah. Um, when they're not keistering uh, things into the into the shed, they're putting on quality uh, programming. You know what I mean? So uh, that's not quality programming. I mean, no, that's great. I, I mean, it's way better than whatever the fuck we're doing right now. I, I can tell you that. And we should get a chicken. We should get a chicken and just let it cluck around in here. We call him Mosh. He's not here tonight. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Uh, if he burped, he'd be like. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Anyway, the ladies love it. <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska Avenue ladies. Oh. This has turned into E Harmony. <laughs> you know what turned into Carol Baskin? She was a Nebraska lady. Oh, was she? Yeah, Nebraska Avenue. I believe so. If you watched the first or the first episode of Tiger King, they talked about how she was uh, crying and walking down the street on Nebraska Avenue after she had been in an argument with her husband. Uh, the best diff- argument he ever had. No, that was a different husband, I believe. Oh. Yeah, but um, and that's when uh, the the new husband picked her up. Um, but no, there's no way she was a streetwalker on Nebraska Avenue. No. Right. And don't you think if he had talked to the first husband that he may never have picked her up? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what's That's messed the best up? research you can do. Yeah, you know, I I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> but can you Please, imagine I'm like leaving. people that <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. I'll touch oh. you. Yeah, no, you're fine, dude. Please stay. Just stick six feet away from me. So, dude, what a lot of people don't get though. I'm not saying a lot of people don't get. I want to I don't want to sound like a like a dick, but we actually live in the area where that tiger sanctuary is that was in Tiger King. So we're like, yeah. we're back on the map, dude. You know what I mean? Who's that? Who are you touching on the Facebook there? You keep talking. Oh, okay. You're I'm deleting stuff? Years, <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, but <laughs> Carol Baskin is like our next door neighbor, dude. Right there in, uh, what is that, Northdale? Mm-hmm. Carolwood? Northdale, right? That's like at Limebaugh and the Veterans Expressway. Literally like 15 minutes from my house. Like 15 minutes from your house. That should be our new... Have you ever borrowed sugar from her or anything? But no. Oh. I would never borrow a cigarette from anyone. No, sugar. Oh, sugar. It's the new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got some sardine oil from her though right now. <laughs> hey. You got some lie. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, who's, you're lying. No. Anyway, um, so that that being said, dude, like a lot of the people that listen to The Kevin Holly Show may or may not realize that we are like literally right next to where the Tiger King stuff happened, you know? So you got people listening left and right. You got Andrew Johnson. Andrew got- Johnson. PJ Bassett. PJ Bassett. We call them people out. They're like, oh, God, don't say our names. Mark Stutzman. Oh, what's up, dude? Strutzman. Tiff Money. Tiff Money. Oh, I Matthew. love it. I love it, dude. Dude, you have fans. But they're not I had fans. no idea. They hate me, dude. They just, they're here to see you. I can't believe no one was watching. No, man. <laughs> Did, should I show them my cool shirt again? Look at this. Look at that shirt. Oh, Can my you God. Tell, tell them what year you bought it. The shirt. I bought this shirt back in, in 1989. Yeah. <laughs> 1989. I was 11. So and, uh, it's a brand new shirt. No, I, I was uh, 14 in 89. Yeah. And I'm like, you got to tell me where you had that since you were 10. But then I saw the color. And like, <laughs> well, then you're going to have to tell them what kind of detergent you use. And Dude, someone actually asked. <laughs> yeah, I can't <laughs> believe Tiff Money asked that. But it, it's true, though. Like, uh, my girlfriend bought me five or six shirts like this because um, she went to, of all places, Walmart. <laughs> And on the clearance rack, what are you laughing at, dude? Because Corey says, I took a stroll down the rescue to clear my head. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah, you don't want one so in the chamber. Been in Nebraska. Who hasn't? But go ahead. So, um, you know what? On a tangent with Nebraska, do you remember Dayton Andrews, the the I think it was a Chrysler Dodge uh, dealer right there in Nebraska, like in dealership row, we used to call. He it. says cheap, ba- Facebook chatters are fake. <laughs> <laughs> fake book chatters. Keep going. Anyway, the the uh, the Andrews guy, Dayton Andrews, uh, or the Dayton guy, whatever. I don't know. One of those guys. Rumor has it, uh, used to get streetwalkers and bring her, bring them into the office behind closed doors, probably to feed them. You know. Hold on, I got sneeze. Oh man, that hurt, man. That hurt bad. Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. sorry, like, dude. Yeah, I know, I mean, dude. Uh, I'm, it was allergies, man. Sneezing oh. and coughing is dangerous. These I days, sneezed right like, into my my carry weapon, dude. Because you you don't oh. just sneeze anymore. You sneeze, you have COVID. That's why I held it in, dude. You know, don't hold it in. Oh, I, I'm so sorry I did that to you. Now I feel f- stuffed up. And now I feel sick. Yeah, my bad, dude. <laughs> Can you give me a mask? <laughs> Actually, it's okay. Nick, next episode. So anyway, um, we were talking about uh, streetwalkers and Nebraska sorry, Avenue. I, I'm, I'm lost now. Streetwalkers. I, I forgot my train of thought. I, I've lost my train of thought. I sneezed and it exited my body. Hopefully, just like the COVID, if indeed. That's what that was, which I'm sure it wasn't. Spicoli says COVID spreader. <laughs> Violation. I can't watch a show with a COVID oh, spreader. <laughs> so so anti entertaining. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> virus for this show. A lot of fun. <laughs> Dude. So if you're going to believe that I have COVID 19 because I sneezed, you're probably the same person that believes. Uh, some of the YouTube videos, but not the other ones. You know what I mean? There's YouTube videos out there that people are like, nope, that's not true. But then there's other videos on YouTube that say the opposite, and they're like, that's true. It's got to be. But the same parameters aren't met in those same videos. I just, I don't know, man. It drives me insane. It drives me nuts. Cassandra Holly, which, who's Cassandra Holly again? Cassandra, you could just call her Sandy. That'd be my older sister, my much older sister. I'll call her sister. Sandy. Yeah. I'll tell so. you her middle name later. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday again with her hand over her face. Why? Because it's the, she's listening to this fucking show. And she goes, Streetwalkers, I was one. <laughs> That's not what she, she said. She did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she did. So uh, in the chat room on uh, Spreaker here, KevinHollyShow.com, we got Nitwit.tv. Also on Thursday nights after Open Mic Live on the IRN, the Internet Radio Network, Nitwit says, So Carol Baskin was streetwalking on Nebraska. Continue. How was it? I wouldn't know, dude. I mean, it was I'm killer. Just, it was killer. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> Picking the low hanging fruit there, aren't we? Hey, you know what? Mark my words. Go back into like episode 204, 203. And I said in the chat and audibly on the, on the show that I was bringing SARS back because I misspoke and I said SARS instead of stars or something like that. And Nitwit made a joke and I was like, ah, I'm bringing SARS back. Ah. And then a couple few weeks later, SARS is back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Masha's in the studio. We just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What did he say? Bitchute? Bitchute, by the way? Bichute. For the win. For the win. What's that mean, bitchute? Bitchute. Bitchute. I don't know. What the hell is bitchute? Oh, I don't know. I, I think we can handle this. Hold on, I got this. Oh, we're going to Google bitchute. Yep. If anyone knows what bitchute is, let me know. Oh, I got it right here. Uh, here we go. Chicks behind closed doors. Amberly Madden is watching. Amberly! Amberly, what's up? Go? <laughs> I actually watched some coming Amberly's home. Amberly's an anomaly. Tonight. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is this act? No, it's not a word. Well, no shit, it's not a word. Nitwit said it. Bit. Shoot. That's not a word, dude. It's taking over for Bitcoin. Maybe it's cock chat. He spelled cock chat wrong. Cock chat. Cock chat. Uh, do I have cock chat here? I think I do. So, Kevin, you, you said you had show prep ready for this. I know, week. but hold on. Allow me to be like Nitwit and say, do I have cock chat here? Let me find it real quick. <laughs> yeah, but he can get away with it because he's good at what he does. Oh, he is the best, man. Um, yeah, I, I have some show prep, um, but I have to wait for these things to load on my tablet first. That's just how it goes. Uh, Glick in the chat room. I see. Uh, I say potential for good show since Mosh ain't there, but Kevin's still hosting. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Glick, there's only so much I can do, bro. Cock chat. I only fuck up one show a week. <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for coming, Stan. <laughs> Appreciate you, bud. Mike sent me here as like a <laughs> spy, a double agent. <laughs> yeah, you guys are dicks, man. He's like, we're bad. Make him worse. I know. How did? How did? Like, I need the help. But I mean, how did? How did that even happen without me knowing it? You know. What? 
like Stan's like, I want to come all the time. You're already, November. You're like, I'm coming for all of November. And I was like, please do. Hell yeah. Then like a little while goes by. We're all in lockdown. We're all quarantined. We're all like putting rubber gloves on to masturbate. And then all of a sudden Stan's back and he's like, I'm dedicated, man. I'm going to be here every week. And I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. Little did I know you're only here to make this show worse than it already was. So that open mic live could be better. And I blame Mike Tyree with his hairy ass arms because he won't even acknowledge my existence. I asked him to go camping. Nope. I asked him, he's like, parks are closed, Kevin. I asked him to go kayaking. He's like, oh, I have a paddle board. Uh, you can come along if you can keep up, you know, but he doesn't tell me where they're going until after they're done. Then I see the pictures on social media and I'm like, wow, that looked like a lot of fun, Mike Tyree. Thanks. Instead, I'll just hang out with Stan every Wednesday night. Look like a dick. It's fine. It's perfect. That make fun. you look like a better dick. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like a bigger dick. Right. <laughs> it's why hot chicks hang out with ugly girls. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. You're the hot chick. But you're a dick, man. Oh, I thought. Oh well, thank you. I'm just saying, dude. That's bullshit, and you know it. In it, fact, I was just telling Stan before the show. I'm like, with your new smile and your beard, growing your hair out, and you're a good-looking guy. You got some. You got some some muscle to you. You know, you got a little bit of thickness. You're not a pussy. A girl's not going to be scared that you're going to get your ass kicked trying to protect her. You know what I mean? And she knows she can take me, so she's not afraid of that. Be perfect combination. You know right. what I mean? I'm in the same boat. You know, I'm not as big as you as far as girth, but I think lengthwise. We're about the same. You might be an inch taller or longer, depending on if you're laying down or standing up. But in reality, I might have a little bit more muscle mass, a little less body fat. We have a little bit more weight. You've still got the muscle mass, but like a little more body what fat. The, what the fuck is I'm comparing us, man. I think we're in the same boat. There's no comparison, Kevin. I think there is. We both wear glasses. We, we both... Um, Suck at what we do. <laughs> I'm looking for you for guidance we right both, now, man. We both should not be behind this microphone right now. Yeah, well, or both. Well, there's two microphones. Spicoli there's says four. someone needs therapy. It oh, works, yeah, trust me. Spicoli, I think he's talking about himself. Therapy does work, though. Yeah, he's like, it, I need therapy. <laughs> he just pops into the chat room and he's like, hey, here I am. Somebody needs therapy. <laughs> you made it very clear, though. It, it does work, though. And oh, I think yeah. more people should seek it. That, that are afraid to seek it, to be honest with you. I, I totally agree. I, you know, that's no joke, man. Do you know there's a Facebook group that I've been wanting to pimp out for a while? It's called, uh, uh, oh, what Cameron is it Cameron says, I walked in on girth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Cameron. Cameron Com says, his penis talk with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called cock chat, but thank you. you um, Kevin, you're the same size as your fifth grade shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> she didn't say that, but I filled in the blank. <laughs> you're such a dick. <laughs> Spicoli says, F you. you. All right, man. So, <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to find the cock chat button, dude. I don't know where it is. I don't know what color it is. I don't know anything, man. It's fine. So, honestly, though, when we're comparing ourselves. F you, Kevin. I know, dude. Spicoli's mad. He's always mad at me, dude. I don't know why. He's always have mad you, at me. Have you talked to you? No. It's easy to do, bro. Ah, I should talk to myself more often. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't do it. Nope. Oh man. So what are we gonna get into tonight, Stan? I don't know what was on your what was what's on tell the people what's coming up. What is on your prep list? Well, um I think that there's a very important thing that happened today around the country, and it's the fact that the governors of each state were given permission as as well as the mayors, I believe, uh to open up reopen up their, their states and cities uh as deemed necessary and safe if you will. Uh, DeSantis uh, was just on TV last night with the president. That's our governor in Florida. And um, we were all expecting him to come out and say, like, the beaches are open. It's a free for all. Woohoo. And he didn't. He said, you know, over the next two weeks, 25 percent capacity, only outside dining, six feet away. No more gyms or salons for a little while. Schools are still closed. It was like a lot less than what people thought. And I think people are happy about that in some respects. But I don't know. I'm on Do you the think fence, it's too soon? Man. I don't think so, man. I'm still on the fence. I'm like... So here's the thing is, he also came on today and was pretty, like, not pissed off, but not happy with all the misrepresentation of the numbers that are taking place in Florida. That's a huge thing. That's and why I'm on the fence. And he literally spit out facts and with charts and went, look, they're saying this. This is what's happening. They're saying we're running out of ventilators. We have thousands of them. We're willing to share them. We have so many. Did he talk but, about the numbers being inflated by per chance or no? By other people. Yeah. And he's going, these are the actual, these are the facts, people. Is They're saying all this, Florida, Florida, Florida. And he's going, 
It's not true. Yeah. Florida's going to be the next blah. You know, Florida's going to be the next Italy. He's like, there's nothing even close to saying that that's going to happen. No. And I think we need to be more realistic Thank about you. it. Thank you. I mean. And that's coming from a guy, Stan, you. That's been wearing a mask and gloves and, and has a whole thing at your work where nobody's allowed within six feet you, of the you register. You have no clue how many people have come in and went, this is the greatest setup I've ever seen. I well, by my studio, set right? Up yeah. A, a, a six foot perimeter. Like quarantine room. I did it. Yeah. Gloves, masks, Lysol, every, everything. I mean, from not using the same pen, you know, two people don't touch the same pen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Type of thing to sign anything. I bet you're showering more regularly as well. No, okay. but <laughs> it's not important. You got gloves. But on. I mean, magic gloves. Seriously though, when I touch money, gloves always. If you're gonna do it, just fucking do it. It's like, not hard. I get so pissed you know? off when I walk in somewhere and everyone's standing six feet apart in line, but they're gathered in a group of ten around the bear or the freaking slurpy machine. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it's what are you really doing? I think that if, for the most part, people are going going to be responsible enough to um, follow the the guidelines of social distancing. But at the same rate, it's like, we all just want it to go away. You know what I mean? I think that's the biggest thing about it. It's like, we all want it to go away. A lot of people are like, uh, you know, oh, hey, we're getting a phone call here. We should take it. Oh, man. It's going to be like that tonight. All right. Kevin Holly Show, you are live. Oh, hi, Kevin. I'm so nervous to call in right now. Oh, well, you don't have to be nervous. <laughs> I'm a first-time caller. Oh, well, thank you for calling the show. Last time listener. <laughs> yeah, probably a last time listener. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What's your name? It's Pavel. Oh, get out of town! Are, yeah. Okay, if, so this is, if this is the real Pavel, what, oh, really? what color is the car you drive right now? Well, it depends which one. I got two. Uh, How many family members are in it? No, hold on, hold on. Uh, the sports car that you have. It's blue 1994 Corvette. Oh, it is Pavel! Welcome, dude. <laughs> What's with that buzzing noise, man? I'm going to blame that on Good Pavel's fun. connection. Are you there? You go. All right, it's gone. Yeah. So, so Pavel, uh, yeah. buddy, so, I haven't talked to you in a long time. What, uh, what what, made you decide to call the show tonight, bud? I don't know. It's the first time I ever watched it. I'm sure you already had enough shows, but... Uh, That's BS. You've been... I've seen you. Have you been watching it since the beginning? Uh, no, no. I kind of always looked at it and be like, nah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, since the beginning of tonight, like, tonight's show, have you been watching this since the beginning? Um, you ain't gonna lie, I mean... Maybe, possibly. I, I, I tuned into it when he, um, put on the, uh, the, the, the music or whatever. And how many minutes after that did you wish he turned it out? <laughs> I'm about uh, four or five. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what music, what music grabbed your interest? Was it during the break? Was it the opening music? Was it music we featured? Do you recall? Uh, no. I just figured I'd call you. Go to stop using your cell phone and cheap 8-inch cord. <laughs> Try Skype, asshole. Uh, that's actually a 9-inch cord. Thank you very much. <laughs> Six foot away, though. Yeah, true. So you have three feet that you don't stop on my cord. Uh, Pavel, mm -hmm. let's get back to Pavel here. Uh, Sorry, did so, you interrupt your bad phone call? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's gonna. It's about to get great. I love you, Pavel. Pavel. Palalua. Just Pavel. Pa then why is there a W? Because it's <laughs> Polish. That's You're why. <laughs> what? I'm kind of Polish. It is too. It's Pavel. And way, Pavel. Huh? And by, and, and by the way, Kevin, if uh, you didn't think it was me, how would you think that I knew how to pronounce my own name? Yeah. Thank you very much. Support. Yeah, you can't fake that accent, bro. <laughs> Dude, I know. People want to say he's Russian, you know, because he's no. very controlling. He was a policeman back in the day, right? So you would think, like, here's a Russian like, spy right here, you know? Yeah. But you're not. You're Polish. That That's exactly how you get the girls. It's not the new teeth. It's not the beard. It's that fucking accent Yo, right there. Yo, you need a fake accent like Pavel. Oh, my God. If I could I thought, do that accent, bro. I thought he was going to say, uh, I thought he was going to say by being Polish. <laughs> just, just well, of course you stupid, did. you Polak. Of course you did. <laughs> hey, calling somebody Polish is calling somebody the N-word. Yeah, I know. Stan, you did. Oh, I'm sorry, you Polak. <laughs> Come on. That's Pavel. He's our listener Polak. friend. He's a friend of mine. Calm but, down. If you're black, you can say the N-word. You're not black, and neither is Pavel. I'm neither Polish. Am I. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Are you really? Yes. Goddamn Polak. I am. <laughs> okay, I'm Irish and Polish. Irish well, and then you Polish. can't say it, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I didn't well. say he it. He can't though. spell it. He can oh, say it. No, I did say it. Did you hear that whistle? That's the first time I've ever heard Stan whistle. Did I whistle? Yes. Oh, my God, he can whistle. Stan got new teeth, and now he can whistle. 
So, Pavel, tell me something. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, you were a, a policeman. You told me a killer story back in the day about how you went to like a like a it was like a fight of some sorts at like a church barbecue, and you were like one of the first cops on scene, and you had to pull out your sidearm and like get behind a tree, and then you were telling me like you were putting the the gun up to people's heads and just making them walk. Oh yeah, no, that was not a barbecue. That was a um, a, a pretty much a juvenile party. <laughs> So, how did you feel? Before I get into my next question, how did that make you feel? Like, as a, as a new, like, kind of rookie cop, you know, you were young, you are in your 20s, you know, were you scared? Did you feel like RoboCop? What was going through your head? No, no, it's scary. It's scary because um, the reason why I did that, because somebody was shooting um, at the people in the crowd from a moving vehicle. Damn. Now, did, did you, uh, did you so, guys catch that guy in the moving vehicle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah they got him. Was he I on the didn't, scene? But they did. Did okay when you were like handling the crowd. Did you like uh, you know like kick anybody's ass, put cuffs no. on anybody? No, the ass? whole main no the whole main um, reason for doing that was to move the crowd from one piece of property to another, where the cars were located, and have everybody leave. And then we killed all of them because they were not Russian spy. <laughs> No. <laughs> I love you, dude. So, at, I know you. Well, you called the show, man. Come on, what are you expecting me? So, so well, I can hang out that easily too, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're not full of English, <laughs> you just went straight I can like hang out that easily too, you know. <laughs> fucking accent disappeared. Yeah, he's pushing his four kids down it's the like sidewalk. Really and, hey, you know, do you know how hard it is to for no. a, for, for a Pollock to live in Wisconsin when they have a totally different accent? Oh my God! No, you say no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been practicing? Eh? A. Of course, A. That's yeah. awesome. B. <laughs> so after you were a cop, you became a, a an over the road truck driver. Now, yeah, I'm assuming you're still doing that today. No, no, I, I'm local now since January of this year. Oh, so you're still driving trucks or whatnot, but making deliveries yeah. locally, and yeah, were you in like Kenosha or yeah. Milwaukee, Milwaukee? I do about 98% of uh, uh, Wisconsin. Okay, well, that's a big state. I mean, so, you may as well just say 100%. I mean, 98% yeah. is like, it's pretty much all of it, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I go to Illinois and shit, so. Do you, do oh, you, that place sucks. Oh, fuck, that's where I yeah. was born, dude. I, I talked to some chick in Illinois, bro. I can tell just by talking to her. That place oh, is yeah. weird. I got cousins there. Oh, you do? Yeah. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a holly hybrid, sister? so. Stop I it! The whole family. Stop it, man! Pavel's got cousins. Pavel's got lots of family too. They're in Russia. Oh, they're Polacks. They're just dumb enough to fall for it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like from one Polak to another. So, Pavel, I'm assuming that being a truck driver is more lucrative than being a police officer. Yeah. Well, at least in Florida. Oh, you want to come back to Fl come back to Florida? Come back to Florida. Nah, I don't know. You don't know. If any state, I'm going to move to is probably California. California. Why? Like Northern California? Like in that weed field where people no, die in the mountain? Dude, I respect no, him until you said that. Eh, probably, <laughs> um, probably east of L.A. East Forest of L.A. Or Bakersfield. East L.A. Like, hey, man. East of. Oh, East of. I thought you said Different accent. You just sure dig, dude. They what? all sound alike. <laughs> no, they're in East L.A. They're like, yo, what's happening, yeah, Holmes? Yeah, but well, Patel's... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Patel's, I got something loaded up for that in a minute. But So, Pavel, uh, before we let you go... In, dude, uh, dude, I miss you. And uh, we were good friends. We worked well together. Oh, so yeah. Florida does suck. No, I love Florida. I love Wisconsin, too. You know? Wisconsin. Uh, so, Pavel, I mean, <laughs> are you eating a lot of cheese or? No. Good. Okay. That was a really stupid question. But, but, it, but if you go to every single gas station, there is, they will sell, like, I think it's called cheese curds, which I haven't had. Cheese curds. Like something. You've never had cheese, cheese curds? curds? No, you need to but get it's to like really popular. Figures a Russian guy been making fun of Kurtz. You need to get to <laughs> Culver's. How do you? You need to get to Culver's. How do you? I don't know. You need to get. No, I, I you see it. at I the at the gas station, they're just packaged and like like raw. They're not cooked or anything. What you, we call those hookers. How do you cook cheese curds, man? What do you, <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> You live in Wisconsin, man. You should be an expert. So he's never eaten one. He lives in Wisconsin. Yeah, like, I think you just suck on it, right? They extra that you. You, you know about things about sucking. <laughs> Are you sucking? Hold on. Oh, I, I like this guy too. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, well, what do about. I got propelled for? <laughs> you just did your transvestite voice. I don't know. Uh, I do like to talk to this <laughs> Stan was a man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pavel, um, before we go, okay, so you're staying local in, in Wisconsin. You're not eating cheese curds. You uh, no longer travel over the road, but you have two vehicles. One's a Corvette, a 94. It's blue. It's got an H-pipe, if I'm not mistaken. So it can make the trip 2,000 miles to Florida, to Tampa. What is That's like mm-hmm. 1,500 miles, dude. I feel like he's giving himself stay-at-home orders long before they actually were put in place. That's where I was going with this, dude. I was about to tell him he could visit us, but he can't because of stay-at-home orders. He fucked it right. up. It's, yeah. Oh, I did? It's okay. Oh, He's sorry not listening. Your mind, no, he can't hear us. Anyway. He can't hear us. My car has never <laughs> seen snow or rain, so hear. there's that. Well, there's no <laughs> snow or rain in, in Florida. You should drive the vet down here to the dump yeah. tower and hang out with us, dude. You could be our protection. You know, oh, wouldn't it be cool, Stan, if we had a Russian spy that just kind of hung out with us? Kevin needs a host. Uh, Kevin needs a co-host. <laughs> Uh, no, I need a Russian security, dude. I know, he's not Russian. He'd be Russian to get here, though. Hey, hey oh, oh thank you. you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. you can only make this show better, bro. I know, yeah. Uh, Nitwit says, deep fry him. Spicoli says, fry him. Ke- cheese curds are yummy. Uh, ankle bracelets don't help either. It says snows every day in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you can still shovel snow, dude. <laughs> Go to Miami. <laughs> and they don't use paper straws. <laughs> Ooh, no. No, they don't. They use dollar bills. Dollar, dollar Rick bills. Nine, what? What? All right, Pavel, I'm going to let you go. Um, I love you. Thank you yeah. for checking in with us, dude. Call anytime. And honestly, if you're back in Florida at any moment, dude, or if you're planning on coming, let me know, dude. I'll house you. You can stay in the dump tower with the mannequin and the futon, the casting couch, whatever you want to call it. Dude, I miss you, Patel. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Fired as like Twelve years old. <laughs> I, I wish we worked together. Yeah, <laughs> we'd really call it work, Stan. <laughs> yeah, I could steal your tips. <laughs> we'll touch tips if you want. What? what? I don't From know. Six inches away. Not yeah. six. Oh. It's a big six inches, man. All right, Pavel. Thank you for calling, brother. <laughs> yeah, I miss you. I love you, man. I'll, call, I'll, I'll talk All to right. you soon. Call anytime. Bill, be All right, man. Pavel, everybody. Woohoo! Hey, that just goes to show, dude, that if Anyone you are, fuck this show up. yeah, you're listening to the Kevin Holly show and you want to call and chime in or check in or just say hi or make fun of us or whatever the hell it might be, we'll take the call. 727-550-7886. Call the show. We'll dude, we take. have top technology for these phone calls. Yeah, that's a that's a mix minus on my, my 12 channel. <laughs> we mixer. have the best Windows phone out there. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got, I have two Windows phones in this studio, dude, I really do. <laughs> Well, they're not. They're for backup. Your you know street what I mean? talk is for real. Oh, dude, yeah. We got a, a, a June bug here in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So Kevin, we keep trying to get to whatever you had prepped for today, and you keep avoiding it by taking phone calls from Patels, which have more money than they should be watching. You the know show. what? You know what? That's messed up that you say that. Okay. That's messed up that you say that because I do have actually something loaded up. Now, a lot of people. We were, we were just talking about like. You know, Pavel being a cop, and how did you feel? Were you scared? Were you nervous? Were you like RoboCop? And we were also talking about dude, with that accent. He could be RoboCop. I know, dude. It's like he's like a Stephen Hawking. He's like, I am Pavel. <laughs> License and registration, please. <laughs> License and <laughs> Do you know he used to take me on? So his- Cody says, "I'll get my CB and breaker ready for you, breaker one night." <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, Breaking man. What's your twenty, dude? So uh, Pavel once took me on a ride along a couple times, but virtual ride alongs. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool. Uh, he had me on his Bluetooth, and he put me in his pocket, and he pulled people over. One time, he pulled over four people in a car, and the, and the one dude in the back seat didn't have uh, ID. And he's like, you know I can take you downtown if not having ID. And, uh, and the guy's like, oh, please don't. Oh, and I could hear this all going on. And so I'm he's like, a dick. I'm like, Pavel, dude, just you know, turn me off, dude. I don't want you to get hurt over just trying to let me So listen. he said you turned on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and then he was totally cool. He was like, listen... Uh, next time, make sure they, what are you doing out here? And they're all like, I have a terrible Pavel impersonation, but they were like, you know, we're just going from point A to point B, sir. And they were respectful and cool. It didn't smell of marijuana or alcohol, you know? And so he's like, I do not smell the marijuana. I do not smell the alcohol. Uh, just make sure next time you leave your house, you have your ID. They were young, man. They were like, you know, 17, 18 dudes don't always have their ID. You know what I mean? So that being said though, that being said, follow me with this. Okay. Like I've been trying to follow you all night, Kevin. It's not I know, easy. I know it's hard. But if you were uh, in, say, I don't know, the the A desert show, the desert plains of India, and uh, y- you would follow me. Okay, that doesn't. That's a bad segue. But a lot. Why? Why? Um, a lot of people are 
wondering when are the desperate people going to do desperate things based on last the lockdown? Night. What do you mean last night? I'm one of them. What'd you do? That was I broke into that bitch's house. <laughs> <laughs> Mosh's house? No, different bitch. You broke into his mom's house? <laughs> I'm just seven kidding. cents on the end table. So <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to fight you. So when when are desperate people going to do desperate things, man? Is that part of the reason why they're opening up the country? Because they're scared maybe that uh, people are gonna start getting desperate and do no. desperate things. Are we gonna I have like I a, haven't seen that I haven't seen that I haven't gotten that feeling yet. Yet. Well, something did happen, Stan, and I'm going to bring it up for you right now. It's it's kind of a sad really story. Kevin has an Indian cop fetish. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Indian. <sighs> are, what? are Polish people indigenous? I don't think so. Right? No. Are they indigenous? Yeah, that's Indian. Yeah, to to Poland. Poland. Yeah, they have, did they have Native Americans in Poland? <laughs> so I'm de- desperate and dateless. <laughs> You're not. Here's why. <laughs> That's my new dating site, Desperate and Dateless. <laughs> Lowered expectations. <laughs> Don't expect much. <laughs> so, okay, so these two hoodlums, okay? Long walks off short piers. Charlotte County, these two hoodlums, okay, in Florida. Uh, in the midst of a pandemic, 18-year-old Chase Grimes and his accomplice could not care less about the struggles small business owners are facing. Okay, on Thursday morning, Charlotte County deputies rushed to Lutford, Georgia's convenience store on Harvard Boulevard in Charlotte. The two burglars triggered the alarm system after they used a brick paver to smash out the glass of the front door. Now, after they sent glass all over the floor stand, they snagged up what? What do you think they took from the convenience store? It's one thing. That's all they took. Snap, snap, wrap snacks. Wrap snacks. Ah, Nope. Guess um, again. What do they steal from this convenience store? Oh, the fake roses. The fake rose, like in the vase. Yeah, you know the ones. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, those are badass. It's like four hundred dollars for one of those, man. I'll sell you one for like two fifty, though. Yeah, it's COVID, dude. You, you know, four dollars. Right? Whatever, man. No. Anyway, so yeah, no, steal? wasn't um, that okay, all right, last guess? What did they, they steal? Condoms. Condoms. You say condoms. Condom style. <laughs> that was their stuff. <laughs> nope. Would they steal, Kevin? Well, let's go ahead and listen to the audio here, and here we go. Charlotte it's County. Not enough that this guy smashed his way into a store, but Charlotte County deputies say Chase Grimes put lives at risk in the pandemic, all for rolling papers. Look at that guy. You tell me that guy doesn't look like the kind of guy that's going to steal rolling papers from a convenience store? Look at him. Now he's facing. He, he got away on his skateboard. <laughs> yeah, he's moshed with hair. <laughs> Hey, you'll never catch me. I'm just kidding. For burglary charges and an extra charge for doing this during the state of emergency. And it's certainly going to cost him. NBC2's Joseph Ojo shows us how the owner was able to... Wait, what was his name? Joseph Ojo? <laughs> Is he Polish too? This is how the owner was able to put one of his thieves behind bars. Hold on. Joseph Ojo shows us how the owner cost him. NBC2's Joseph Ojo shows us how the... <laughs> Joseph Ojo shows us how... <laughs> what the hell did she say, dude? That's she better did. than the story, dude. She said, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are we listening to? NBC2's Joseph Ojo shows us how the owner was able to put one of his thieves behind bars. Do you wonder how many times she listened to Chase like, Grimes and his unknown accomplice used a large... His name is Joseph Ojo. That's his... Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Jo- Joseph Ojo. Oh, oh, he's ready. Shows us. Oh, my God, dude. All right, all right, here we go. Brick paper to smash right into this front door and steal from the store. Grimes thought he was in the clear, but the owner noticed that Grimes was a familiar face at his store, and it was his long hair that led to an arrest. Guy so- sounds a little bit like Pavel, honestly. Joseph Ojo. Joseph Ojo Pavel, maybe. I don't know. Then we said, Lisa just checked into the speaker chat board. Then we said, save us, Lisa. Less of Lisa. Less of Lisa. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What? You're my new best friend. <laughs> no, lots of Lisa. Lots yeah, of Lisa. You son of a bitch. I'm so sorry. Let's get back to Joseph Ojo. He's going to show us. Us. I mean, economically, we get affected. In the midst of a pandemic, 18-year-old Chase yeah. Grimes could care less about the struggle small business owners like Luke for George are facing. I'm directly infected, my business. So the business I used to do, now I'm doing half. Um, I'm deadly affected by the business. That's where I was going with that, Stan. You said I loved Patel I didn't police say officers. That. Yes, you did. I did not. You said I loved. You said Spicoli thank you. said that. You said bye to Pavel. You called him Patel. 
It's not my fault. I have a speech impediment. It's not this guy's fault that that's how he talks. He owns a convenience store in the middle of a pandemic. Give the guy a break. You're making fun of the way he talks. Ridiculous. Jeez. On Thursday morning, must, Charlotte must County deputies rushed to George's convenience store on Harbor Boulevard after these two burglars triggered the alarm system. So thanks God and thanks to the security systems. Watch. What? Come on, Stan. Decipher that. What do you say? Say God and thanks to the security systems. What the alarm system? He so said thanks God tanks and thanks to the security systems. systems. What? Thank God and thanks for the. Oh, I heard there's tanks protecting the systems. Tanks protecting the systems. One more time, dude. Come on, here we go. After these two burglars triggered the alarm system. So thanks God and thanks to the security systems. What? Oh, there's tanks are sacred to the systems. Yes, <laughs> sacred tanks. That's the Indian culture. They're sacred things. One tanks of them's for tanks. tuning in, Patel, Puel, I'm, I'm hoping Praveen tunes in. Who? My friend Praveen, because he. Are you showing off now? You got all kinds of. I know, I know. I got a friend in India from India. Yeah. You have one friend from everywhere. You can't be prejudiced. I'm not. That's why. That's why I let him be my friend. I'm just kidding. That's lies. I'm just saying. The goalie says, "Is that the dude you just called?" <laughs> <laughs> you just said, "Is that the dude just called?" Is that, is that the dude that just called? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's Spicoli. I got a, I got a song by the Spicoli, uh, right here. Uh, well, back in my day, when I was your age, we didn't have phones. <laughs> when I was your age, we had to walk miles to school. As Grimes and his partner in crime use a brick paver to get inside, they struggle for a bit. Then bang, glass goes flying all over. If they at least have like five minutes instead of 30 seconds, then definitely they will, they, they have a plan to empty my store. What? <laughs> you thought that shit was funny? Because <laughs> it's not his store, he's his fucking cashier. They, they empty my store. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. <laughs> Spicoli says, thanks for calling Dell. How may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what the hell did he just say, dude? One more time. This again, then definitely they will, they, they have a plan to empty my store. <laughs> the duo what? snagged as much rolling funny? paper. As <laughs> I gotta do it one more time, dude. I gotta do it one more time, because this is just too much, dude. Like, here we go, here we go, here we go. Then bang. Glass goes flying all over. If they at least have like five minutes instead of 30 seconds, then definitely they will, they, they have a plan to empty my store. <laughs> the <laughs> they drink all these slushies. Oh, Duo yeah. snagged as much rolling paper as they could from the store, then ran off. They have their mask and all other stuff, you know, but uh, they, uh, uh, one of the guys has a long hair. I knew them. That description of long hair <laughs> by the owner was key. Also helping the owner make the case, questioning two regular customers who happened to be friends with the suspect. The regulars confirmed it was Grimes and helped lead deputies to his door. They're going to get Arkansas'd. The, the regulars. Arkansas'd. There's burglars and regulars in this story. Ar burglars and regulars. Burglars and regulars. The so regulars called out the burglars. Oh, them regulars are done. That's what stitches I'm saying. Stitches, bitches. Yep. Over some rolling papers, man. And, and here's the thing is, they stole rolling papers. A lot of them. If they would have just followed them home, everyone would have been happy. Yeah. Like, what happens? Like, how did they figure it out? Like, they showed up at their, at their apartment, and they're like, oh, look, there's all the rolling papers. You know what I mean? Like, there must have been a massive amount of rolling papers, dude. You know? They didn't just steal, like, a little package. Well, that's why you keep a bag of, like, tobacco next to you, so you can yeah. just tell them that that's what you're actually using it for. And then they get into a heated argument, and the store owner's like, I know that that is the rolling papers that I had. There was 455 bucks of the rolling papers. Right. And, well, and then the accomplice is over there rolling one and says, here, hit this, and yeah. everything's good. And then, yeah. And, and now then, they're all eating fucking wrap snacks. and <laughs> Bro. And then the store owner, he's like, no, you hit this. And he pulls out like some opium or something. You know what I mean? Like something like, you know, a little bit something from like, what's I don't opium? know. opium? I don't know, man. Just saying, you know. No, Kevin, what's opium? It's Your mom's listening. What, the, kind what's opium? Of, the kind of thing that make you wear shirts like this. The shit you used to do when you were that age. <laughs> ah, what, 12? <laughs> Jesus. No, man. They, they put a little on my teeth when I was teething. That's they all. did? Yeah. They still do that in Miami. Who does? Parents. Do what? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think it's ridiculous that, uh, you know, desperate people are doing desperate things, Stan. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous to me. That's how rape starts. <laughs> yeah. How does it end, Stan? <laughs> I mean, Go ahead, tell us. How does it end? Jail. Like, well, how? Where Mosh just got out of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to push you into a stack of rap snacks. Wow, says Spicoli. Oh, look, Alexander's in the chat room. Oh, I've done opium. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be cool, be cool, be cool. My girlfriend's. I bought him that shirt. 
Okay, she well did. done. Next time, the men's section. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. Right? It's like a. It, it's a three T. It's a. <laughs> no, it's a medium. It's a medium. Yeah, small medium. Right. I coined that way before fucking Garabo. She bought that so you could make your fucking cookies in a tree somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> in the trunk of the tree, I make shoes. It's totally different. Brandy, you, not opium. Well, I, I, I don't know people's experiences. I'm just saying what I saw on the news, man. Yeah. Dude, I did opium with a chick named Brandy once. Are you serious? It was desperate times. Yeah. How old was uh, Brandy? Like 18? As old as that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, why? Is that how that goes? Stay out of the preteen section. <laughs> that's what he says. That's wow. What, that's what she did. She's like, she got you confused with like uh, her son. Yeah, she, that's what's messed up is she bought her son like two or three Hawaiian shirts on a clearance rack at like Walmart. And uh, when he came home, I was like, oh, look at those shirts. They're so cool, man. And he tried one on and I was like, I got some shirts like that. And I went in my closet and I had like two shirts like this. And he's like, let's wear them tomorrow. So the next day we both put on our Hawaiian shirts and it was totally cool. It was like courtship of Eddie's father. You know what I'm saying? And then now, then all of a sudden my girlfriend comes home with five or six of these medium shirts. I washed them. They shrank a little bit, but damn, look at these guns, man. Look at the guns now. Hold on. Let's show everybody in Facebook chat. Look at the guns. Oh. Just saying. Dude, I used to shoot just, water out of guns like that. <sighs> I got a small arms permit. Shit's These guns, weak, bro. Whoa, <laughs> shit's weak, man. Look at the PP guns on this motherfucker. Wait, I'll kick your ass right now, man. You will? I'm go right now. I'm just kidding. I, I would never do that to you, especially with the quarantine six foot away parameters, the social distancing. Dude, I'll bite you so hard my teeth will oh. stay on your arm. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> You know, my older brother did, we were going for a walk the other day. My older brother uh, sent me a video and then he's like, did you see the video I sent you? And I was like, no. And he pulled it up on his phone and it was, you know, those little teeth that you wind up and they chatter around the table, you know, I do. It was a video of like 15 of those. And, and he was like, How is there? which ones are stands? You know, <laughs> pretty funny. Not really at all. He's not really funny ever. I, I know, but that was pretty funny. Like, I don't give him credit a lot because <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> True. It was actually pretty funny. Dude. It was. It was okay. It was okay you know for him. I mean, I mean you got to consider the source. It's kind of like watching a movie. You got to consider the the time that it was made. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't watch it according to now. You got to watch it according to when it was made. Unless it's to a appreciate classic. It. Yeah. So when you and he's when not you're a classic. Reading something by that guy, you have to appreciate the fact that a special needs kid did this and it was successful. <sighs> Alexander says, "Those are too big for me in the preteen section." That's what I said. Four T. He's a four T. They're right next to the. No, that's my age. Four T. They're right next to the the car seats. <laughs> do you have to do you have to use a car seat when you drive? <sighs> what? I don't like. What well, makes you think I can drive? You know that, right? Like you can't just <laughs> awkward. Side. It doesn't work. Damn it! I'm way too loud for that. Just go ahead. Keep on. Keep on. Keep trucking. on what? Keep on trucking. Keep on buddy. trucking. Keep on trucking. Where's Rob? Where the fuck is Rob? By the way. And it was as I left after the intro. Spicoli, you can't leave. Don't leave, Spicoli! He's not leaving. He can't leave. You don't know Spicoli. I know. You think you can ghost? That motherfucker knows how to ghost. Yeah, he's bro. been complaining that he doesn't get a lot of sleep. You know, a lot on social media. He's like, I still haven't slept. You know what, though? He sleeps during our show. I he's not alone. Right. Yeah, I know. I saw you posted that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Your brain gets a hold of you, bro, and you just can't sleep. Like, you want to sleep. I... S yeah. I smoked enough weed to fucking... Put I've large never, animals asleep. I've never smelled weed on you before or seen you smoke weed before. I don't do that when I'm doing a show. But I've hung out with you not doing a show and you don't. I don't do that weed. when I socialize. So you just do it to sleep? Or hang out watching the movies. Yeah, because I don't socialize well with it What's and it? I don't, or I can't keep track of things. I mean, yeah. I'm bad enough at this as it is. What, life? I don't, <laughs> correct, sir. You know how I feel, right, Patel? So we forget. <laughs> I used to work with Kevin. We both got a dollar tip from our neighbor. So what's it like, though, to smoke weed? I've never done it. You've never it, smoked weed? So what's it like to smoke weed? I've never done it. So, according to Mosh, this is how it feels. I don't know, dude. Like, like it, it makes everything smell better. Things taste better. Even you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I go back and watch the show only after I've smoked weed. Because then it's a little bit better. 
and then you can forget about it. Like, I heard you lose your memory if you smoke weed. Yeah, like, I watched SpongeBob and then Kevin Holly, and it all makes sense. Does it blend together ever? Yeah. Yeah, it does for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm underwater the whole fucking time. I should smoke weed. Cody <laughs> <laughs> says, I'm just waiting for the drugs to kick in so I can enjoy this shit. <laughs> uh, I want to smoke weed with my mom. That'd be cool. Like, if I was going to smoke weed for the first time ever, I think it would be cool to smoke weed with my mom. You know? He says, watch the show? Oh, yeah, and you don't really watch it. Oh, you, you don't should, know. You should. Yeah, watch you it. don't know the pictures in my head when I'm listening to this shit, dude. Oh, dude, that's the beauty of radio. It's like you can just come up with your own pictures. It's like reading a book. It's like theater of the mind. Dare I say it? This is like reading a pop up book, though. It's kind of, yeah. Pretty simple, bro. And every once in a while, you get to a page that's ripped and it doesn't pop up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like our show, dude. You know, just like our show. It's like it doesn't it doesn't pop up. There's nothing there. Speaking of popping up, did you see what? How? <laughs> did you, Come here, I'll tell you a story. Come here, sit on my lap. I'll tell you a story about... Did you see what happened to Howard Stern? Did you see what he said? Did you, did you see what he said? Did you watch what Howard Stern it's said? the worst day. <laughs> what? Uh, go ahead. Dude, Howard Stern said something about, uh, you know, I hope, like, Trump supporters drink Lysol and all drop dead together or something like that. Wow. So anyway, in other news, man, I just, I don't know, man, it's like... Even on satellite radio, can you really get away with like wishing death upon the president and and yes. people? Like, shouldn't you like get in trouble for that? Yes. But what if you're? But not if you're Howard. Yes. Well, thanks for clearing that up, Stan. Hot but take. No, but you're right on all those accounts. Yeah, it was weird though to like because read the transcript. You know, it, it's <clears throat> stature matters, popularity matters. These days in this world that we live in, popularity matters. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. Howard Stern is the hard one to take down, bro. Especially when it's Trump. Trump. Any other president? Yes. Trump? You get away with talking shit about Trump all day long. Yeah. For some, and you know why? Because he doesn't come at you for it. Any other president will make get get him. He don't well, give a fuck. Also, I That's think the it, difference. I think that there's a, the difference. There's another element to it. I think that it's just become popular culture for at least. 20% of the country, maybe 10% of the country, to just bag on that guy. You know what I mean? To bag on the president. Just bag on him. They hate him. You there's know an mean? entire political party that that's all they spend their time doing. Yeah, and 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 uh, th- there's an entire mainstream media that is um It's not a com- fun complacent. conversation anymore. They're complacent with it. You're right, dude. You're totally right. Like, you used to be able to have fun talking about politics. You used to be able to have fun talking about everything. Yeah. You cannot do that shit no more. No. Nope. Because everyone is so... like Yeah. Oh, bro. Like, listen. Like, I'm not a Trump People supporter. People give a shit about things they don't get two fucks about. I'm not a Trump supporter by any means. I, I think he's awesome, though. I, I, like, I, I like I like the guy. I like the president. I like our president. Casey Hinkle, what's up? What's up, Casey? So, that being said, though, it's like, you're right, dude. It's getting old. Like, okay, we get it. Like, you hate the guy. Whatever. It's like, I, I get so tired of it. I almost unfollowed one of my favorite musicians. And, and a local guy, too. I almost had to unfollow the guy. So, you stopped stalking him. No, well, I did kind of stop. I did a little stop stalking a little bit. But I had to make a decision. I had to think to myself, is it that much of a big deal? Am I going to be that, like, ugh, with his constant anti-Trump posts? Is that going to outweigh how much I love his online music posts, where it's live and he's playing his music, which I yes. love that. Yes. No, nope, I didn't. I didn't hit the unfollow button. I, yeah, just, you're... I just decided, you know what, I'll just skip past those posts and wait for the live ones and just click on those. And just, you know, that's, you could, there's good and bad about everybody. There's, sometimes you'll agree with their opinion, sometimes you won't. But when it comes to, like, local talent and they're good musicians, like, there's some comics out there that are just nonstop posting anti-Trump stuff. And it gets old. It's so an old it's conversation. Just, every musician is his favorite musician. Yeah, it's just <laughs> true. Every time I tell her, dude, can I, can I just, like, an ask us yeah, Can I back it up for a second? Like, Sorry, David Scott. You're, you're just another one. <laughs> I, I love David Scott, man. I know. In every other fucking basis. <laughs> That's you. That's you. I learned it from watching you. Don't pull your problems off on me. Oh, uh, whatever. Man. So before I came to the show tonight at about five thirty, something like that, six o'clock, right? I'm sitting at my computer. It was the end of the stock market was over. I was looking at post market stuff and just kind of chilling out. I like to say that because it makes it, me sound like I'm so smart. But in reality, Jeff Hampton, I, welcome to oh, the stock market. Jones. What's up, man? No, we're not talking about the stock market. But oh. I was in my bedroom at my my war room desk, and I'm sitting there chilling out, just looking at stuff. And I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw a live video from Coming Home the Band. And it was from uh, August of last year. 
And so I clicked on it, and, and Tony Madden, I was like, Alexandra, come here, check it out. Look at how good Tony is. He's a shredder. Watch him. And he's playing his guitar, and he makes this angry face at the, at the camera, you know? And he's like, and he's playing the guitar. And I'm thinking to myself, like, if playing guitar makes you that angry, why, why are you playing guitar, man? <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know, it's the same with, Because like, that's what makes him play so well. It's the same with bikers, like, like motorcycle riders, you know? Like, I'm a biker, dude. I've been a biker for, you know, 30 years, man. I've had, I've had Harleys and dirt bikes and all that. I love motorcycles. I've been riding a motorcycle since I was, like, seventh grade, what, 10, 12 years old, right? 12. Right. So, so, but, like, when you get on the motorcycle, PJ, my, Philbert, is guilty of this. He puts on this, like, mad face, like, he's a badass, you know? Like, look at me, I'm my Honda Rebel. Is he oh. whining about something? Yeah, probably. It's like, if, you, if it, riding me. your bike makes you so <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, why are you doing it? You never see skateboarders, like, making an angry face. Like, hey, no, roar. they're stealing rolling papers. <laughs> <laughs> now they're angry. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm, so I'm showing my girlfriend this video of coming home the band, right? And I was like, you know who else is a really good shredder? And I was like, uh, uh, Nick Ehas, uh, Sahi, you know, the he's, band Sahi? He's, whatever. Cruel Curses, right? What? What do you mean, whatever? He, he's, he is one of the greatest musical talents, period, minds I've ever met. So it's not just me then, because I told my girlfriend. Yeah, but I mean that. I do too. I, know, I don't say that about every fucking I know buddy. I good when I see good, man. I just love a lot of things. So I'm, like, I'm looking at uh, Cruel it's Curses. good in everybody, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at Cruel Curses. It was their, like... Uh, Mosh is an XM and M, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 no. No bitch better recognize. Better wrap my ass with Mosh. Yeah. I'm just going to rap no really fast. Debate, I'm going to rap about things I don't like. I'm going to rap about things I don't like really fast. I'm going to rap about things I don't like really fast. I'm going to rap really fast. I'm going to rap about things I don't like really fast. It's like, come on, man. So anyway, I'm looking at this, like, Nick Sahi guy, Nick Ehas guy, and he's jumping around playing the guitar crazy. And I'm like, oh, he's even crazier than Tony. Then I was like, you know what that reminds me of? And I pulled up G2P. And I was like, you know Nathan, Nathaniel, right? And I was like, check this out. And I played him with Billy Pratt on a sidewalk in Deltona at this music festival from a couple few years ago. And Billy Pratt playing the bass note for note with the guitar oh my god dude blew me out of the water and i was like i don't think i've ever met like in person a better bass player than billy pratt yeah he's garbage like that guy don't really know music too well billy pratt eh. i mean he, he he's, builds he's, his he's, own electronic amplifiers and things dude anyone can, any method can do that bro <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like i love that guy before he started you <laughs> What I'm, you, it's it's bullshit that I just say that. Oh, I love everybody. I'm looking in the chat room. It's not bullshit. Matt, Mosh is the best at everything. If you don't know, he'll tell you 40 times. <laughs> yeah, because he's got 40 days where he can do nothing. He can't masturbate. He can't do anything for 40 days and 40 nights. But he will tell you how good he is at masturbating, even though he doesn't uh, have time to do it. He's like Trump. He's like, I'm the best masturbator. That's the thing. We were talking about this before the show. I love a- him. Anyone has to tell me how how great they are, or how just, good they are. But I just love him. He's First the best all, battle rapper. If someone says, trust me, don't trust them. <laughs> no, trust me. Mosh is like the best battle rapper, dude. I'm serious, man. It's Mosh fucking Jelton, dude. Read, read the chat. Okay, the chat room says, uh, they are Glick, just not my type of music. That's you. Um, my mom says, who's all there tonight? <laughs> not us, mom. <laughs> Nobody's all there. She really. misses Mosh. She misses Mosh. She misses Mosh. Miss Mosh because. Oh, man. Uh, that's me and Stan. Hi, Stan mom. How you doing? Um... Listen, I'm proud of you for having Kevin, but you could have done better. Hold on, she's on the phone. I'm doing really good. Thanks, Stan. Thank you for having a daughter. <laughs> she's cool. <laughs> You're a dick. Hey, uh, thank you for having two daughters. One of them's cool. Uh, my girlfriend says to my mom's who's all in there tonight, she says, Stan and your son, your perfect gentleman son. Fine young gentleman is what it, w- the coined phrase would be, but uh, I'll take perfect gentleman as well. Thank you very much, Alexandra. And thank you, Mom, for raising such a nice, fine young gentleman. Do you want to call my mom right now? You want to go a little late in the break real quick? You're lucky it's your mom, dude, because I had so nope. many things to say just now. <laughs> We're calling my mom right now, dude. Why both those girls are fading, blowing smoke up your ass? <laughs> nope. I'm going to ask my mom what she raised me to be live on the air, and I guarantee you what she's going to say. She's going to say, look, I tried talking out of it. <laughs> but he didn't want to be a doctor. So. Uh, here we go. All righty. And hey, little people, lives matter. Uh, this is my mother here. Are we really calling your mother? Yep. Oh, Rita. Rita. What's your middle, what's the middle initial stand what's for? Your, what's, your, what's the F Hello? stand for? Hi, Mom. You're live on the air. Is that okay? Yes. Perfect. 
Thank you. Oh, perfect. So, Mom, I just have one quick question for you. I've never been so nervous behind a microphone in all my life. <laughs> Are you ready, Mom? Sure. Go Are ahead. you ready, Mom? So, um, what yeah. what did you raise me to be again? A girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I raised you to be a fine young gentleman. Woo! So where'd you go wrong? Woo! Oh, no. Who am I, who am I talking to? <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? It's Mosh. It's Mosh, Mom. Mom, it's Stan. Oh. Stan's in the studio with me tonight. Just myself Hi, and Stan. Stan. Hi, Rita. How you doing, sweetie? I'm doing great. What happened? Nobody else showed up? <laughs> yeah, you, well, pretty much. It's yeah. the Kevin Holly yeah. show. That's what happens. So listen... Last so, week you had a crowd. So you, you have Kevin, who is your son. You have yeah. Sandy, who is your daughter, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Hmm. Uh, Sandy and Kevin? Yeah. And PJ. PJ Sandy's listening, course. by the way. PJ, of course. Ah, Mom, you're supposed to say baby Hayden. So oh you like gosh. the whiner. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so she does like the girl, after all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was one of the girls. <laughs> Wait, so you want to know which one of my three kids is my favorite? You don't have to lie. We all have, we're all adults here. All right, all right, I'll tell you the truth. They're all my favorite. There you go. Oh, well said, Mom. We'll mom. talk after the show. It's a good mom, yeah. <laughs> and Stan will tell you all the extra reasons why you should love me the most. Okay. I'm and then I'll tell you what's wrong with Philbert. Mom, okay. are you in the bathroom? Did you just flush the toilet? What was that? No. Why are you Where echoing? You Will you wait? Hold on, mom. It's Wacky I'm Wednesday. The Hallmark Channel. It's Wacky Wednesday. Doodly, 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 doodly. Would you say she did a Hallmark Hallmark sale? Can you go flush the toilet for us and let us know? What? I'm How long ago did you flush the toilet? Yeah, don't get up. Don't get up. No. no you want me to flush the toilet? No, 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 no. Don't get up. You're watching the Hallmark she did Channel. That. How old are you? <laughs> mom. How old am I? No, don't answer that, mom. <laughs> Stan, leave my mom alone! Leave her alone! I've never touched your mother! <laughs> Let's talk politics. Oh, good lord. No, no Let's no. do that. No, 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 no. Uh, hold, hold on. Sure. Uh, Guess what the sound is. Okay. Let me play Guess, Guess what the sound oh, is. All right, I'll, I'll, if you fart, I swear to God. Hold on. Okay. Guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to guess the sound. All right, here we go. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> what should have been Kevin's abortion? Oh, whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna say that's the uh, new outro to the show. At the end of every show, we're gonna play that. Guess what the sound is? Okay. It's perfect. I have, I have another one. Oh God! Ready? Okay, last one. We gotta go. We gotta take a break. Okay, ready? All right, ready? Yeah. She's smoking a. Are you smoking a bong? Mom, is that a is what? that a marijuana pipe? What the hell is that? Bong? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you lost! <laughs> you Read it, one more question. Lost. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. What, what was it? That was the microwave stand. What was that? Are you in it? What the hell are we doing? She's like, I'll be done in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rita, can you make a fart noise with your armpit? Oh, God. Uh, no, only Kevin could do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you teach why, him that? that's why I'm her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dad's, Dad's greatest gift to him. <laughs> this is Dad's, Dad's greatest gift to him. <laughs> you, Kevin. Oh, I'll try your teeth. I love you, Rita. Yeah, Mom, thank you. We're up Bye. against a hard break. I love you. That's my mom, everybody. You your mom makes me break hard. Bye. Oh, she's not the best. She's so awesome. All right. Wow. Woohoo! So, uh, that being said, um, uh, it's a... I need some alone. Wacky Wednesday, everybody! <laughs> Your mom's got me hot. Oh, stop it. All right, so uh, we're going to come back and play the Pyramid game. Uh, we're going to play uh, Stan's game that he brought to the nah. table tonight. Oh, what do you mean, nah? Okay. Maybe? Was it because Mosh isn't here? That's fine. It's fine, man. It's cool. I'll let, I'll, Mosh will be... He'll be sad, but, you know, I'll but let him when know. we do get back... You're going to tell us what the hell your show prep was. Yeah, I'm trying to get into it, but we keep, you know, all this weird mumbo-jumbo. You underestimate you know? me, sir. I know. <laughs> That's because I'm shorter than you. you know? I love you. I love you. I love you, Rita. All right, let's play that game, Name That Sound, on Los Angeles Station every week for cash, <laughs> says Joni in the chat room. A full-grown man, but she stop at 
garden gnome. <laughs> yeah, but they don't do it with your mom. Listen, lady, <laughs> you don't underestimate the power of what just happened. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Kevin's mom just flushed a toilet for us and made us guess that it was a toilet. It's pretty awesome. And then she got in the microwave. Yeah. Guess <laughs> she's short like me and she can fit in there. <laughs> yeah. Want to hear making, what your mom sounds like in the microwave? She was making pasta for Zoom. Right. <laughs> I thought we were taking a break. Yeah, we're taking a break. We'll be right back with uh, more of the Kevin Holly Show with Stan Down Deo uh, so right after this break with uh, Tommy Gill. WBRFM wants to say thank you for the support that our listeners give our presenters. You know that I can use somebody. I just love the music. Play like, great music. We aim to give the listeners what they want on their show. Music, fun, more. They don't own me. You'll find it here on WBRFM. Listen now. Become kind of a symbol. So you want a BMT fur? We're taking down the West. Unless your mom finds your bandana, she'll never guess. Even though you're anti fascist, can you act like a fascist if you need to? Ooh, that's bad. Never talk to the camera, there is nobody that you should ever speak to. And we're the anti fat kid. Cause he gonna get hit So you wanna be Antifa You wanna change the world Be like Ebed Flaka What an amazing girl Keep covering your face when you cover them in mace Let me tell ya When the right try to talk You can use a bike block to defend ya And wear a black outfit 
shutting on the dead. Come on down to Berkey, get on to the beach. You can put your Nazi to be using free speech. You'll never catch us. We're anonymous. Find a random signpost, kick it all around. Find a random trash can, burn it to the ground. What point do you approve? When garbage is moved, we don't know. So you wanna be a commie with full government? And you'd also like an Nike with no government. It's pretty much the same, not a staff and not a contradiction. Don't question in a logic, and I'm sure you'll make a great new addition. Cause you might as well quit if you question it. This is revolution, this isn't just a game. So wear your little outfit and use a fake name. Trust us, we're the left. We deserve respect. We hit all the races, fascists on the right. Even though our members all happen to be white, that isn't the point. The point is that we are heroes Hey, thanks for listening to the Lutovi Lutopi Lutopia? Topia, Lou Louis? Louis Topia Louis Topia Show Then listen to the Kevin Holly Show On the Internet Radio Network <laughs>
Guess we're back now. Welcome back, everybody, to the Kevin Holly Show. Uh, we got a lot of people in our Facebook chat. Kevin A. Holly on Facebook. If you want to join us in the chat, watch the live video. Also, Spreaker.com slash the Kevin Holly Show and KevinHollyShow.com. If you want to call the show, 727-550-7886. Rita, one of the best callers of all time. That was pretty cool. Uh, we got Stand Down Deo, talk show host extraordinaire from Open Mic Live, openmicetheshow.com. Thursday nights on the IRN, the Internet Radio Network, irnbroadcast.com. That's the OG, original gangsta, gangsta, original gangsta, Internet Radio Network. It's like the first one ever, like the biggest one, the best one. You got shows like Lionel Nation, Nibwit.tv, SpicoliTV.com, openmicetheshow.com. You've got... Those lazy, what are they called? The lazy podcast. The lazy ass podcast. Yeah. You also got people are garbage. You got soiled cinema. <laughs> you got uh, uh, Lutopia. Lu, Lutopia. Something like that. I don't know. Disappointing your mother's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. Playing. Rita's just going to start one. WBRFM as well, uh, out there in the UK. The Wigan Borough, out there in the UK, uh, proudly carrying the Kevin Holly Show on their network, and we're very proud to be a part of it. Uh, you'll hear a lot of bumpers and rejoins about the uh, WBRFM station out there in London, England. Also, uh, in Boston, we're heard on uh, every week on Gag 109 FM. And also, How appropriate. <laughs> no, right? uh, wherever Scott Frank is, Scott, Scott Frank? Frank is cool. No, where, Scott where's Frank's he listening man. from? I think he's uh, in Florida somewhere. Or Illinois. I don't know, dude. I don't know where the hell Scott Frank lives. Scott Frank is cool. I don't know him for shit, but... Let's call the show, Scott. 727-550-7886. Uh, also, him. we're heard in uh, Naperville outside of Chicago on uh, uh, 24.7 The Stream, our newest affiliate. Um, and, of course, all your you know Spotify. We have a Roku channel. If you have a Roku TV... Or Roku, Roku with Roku. Roku, R O K U, you know, Roku. Oh, that's that shit Patel listens to. This guy. Oh, oh, wow. Hey, hey, ho, hey, hey, hey. got racist. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't really call it racist. You know what I mean? Oh, speaking it's, of racists, do you see the NASCAR driver that uh, uh, used the N word on the like intercom radio deal? There's a shocker. Yeah, I know. And uh, and they and they and they kicked him out. And they got a different driver now. Who kicked him out? NASCAR. He got he got uh, uh, cancel cultured. For I thought it was in like their alma mater. I, I don't know, bro. I mean, I'm not is, a NASCAR like, enthusiast. Is that word but... in, in their like when you go to pledge of allegiance to the NASCAR? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. I don't know, dude. But I think it's like who did they replace him with? Another racist guy? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Johnny Jones. Johnny Jones is not racist. <laughs> He's not even black. <laughs> <laughs> He's gay as hell, though. What's up with that shirt? Fuck I'm you. just kidding. No. I just, just got kidding, that. Alexander, I know you bought uh, it. Hey. <laughs> no, I love Johnny Jones, man. I, I, I unfollow him and then refollow him periodically throughout the week. You know, because he, like, he posts a lot of, like, what do you think? A lot of polarizing stuff. And then I jump in, and then all of his friends attack me, and I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't jump in then. You know what I mean? 
it's not like I'm being a dick. Sometimes, maybe once or twice, it seemed like I was being a dick, but I really wasn't being a dick. I just voiced my opinion. I'm starting to think that you've convinced Alexandra that everything about you is bigger than it actually is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 100%. She's like, oh, I think he'll fit this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're still st- stuck on the shirt. I love this shirt. Dude. I do too, man. You want me to show it to me? What kind of flowers are on it? Like, what, what is that big white flower? Uh, the, they, they're hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus. You know the answer to that question. It makes you yeah. gayer than wearing that shirt. No, I'm a naturalist, bro. Oh, you're a naturalist? Yes. You're wearing clothes. I don't believe you. No, that's a different kind of naturalist. I'm the naturalist that could tell you about the birds and, and the, the bees. And the bees. Uh, My dad the, the trees. Kevin. Do you know there's four different types of mangroves? So you have kids. I would think you would know because you hang out in the mangroves a lot. Oh, when I'm around, man, it grows. But listen, you have kids, right? I, <laughs> How old are they? I have a, um, a 12-year-old and an almost 15-year-old. She'll be 15 in 10 days. Okay. Mm-hmm. And y- you are lucky enough to have a a beautiful girlfriend that is engaged in in conversation with them oh yeah yeah she's an, an amazing motherly type uh, they, you know mother to her own kids. historically the birds and the bees is a conversation that back in the day Here we go. 70s and all that the parents would have with their kids i would assume the birds and the bees went back before the 70s but carry on understood but i was born then so i'm trying to be relevant to the people that are listening gotcha okay um, okay boomer Except for your mother. <laughs> I don't know when she was born. <laughs> She's too, a boomer. Way too soon. Yeah. So, but, like, have you ever thought about having to have that conversation? The birds and the bees conversation? Well, whatever, yeah. Well, yeah. And how does that go now? How does that go these days? Uh, basically, because I have daughters. Alexandra! <laughs> <laughs> no. Basically, I say things like, uh, no, don't, uh, you can't. Uh, please don't. Let me tell you what he's really thinking. Yeah, basically. Like, uh, for example. But do you think that's effective, though? No. I mean, no means yes. Not at all. I, th- I think that, <laughs> I think that uh, a 15-year-old girl, you know, a freshman in high school, uh, going to be a sophomore in high school, uh, basically wants a lot of freedom, wants to, you know, be an independent, you know, person, uh, if you will, and, um expects to be able to do things that 17-year-olds aren't allowed to do. I'm finding so, out 43-year-old women do, too. Yeah. Four, three-year-old women? What? Yeah, they, they want to have freedom. But they're not women. They do what 17-year-old girls were doing. <laughs> they're like little homeless people. Just begging for food. Dude, Stay those are my best gross. odds. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, girl, you need a place to stay? <laughs> well, anyway. I'm taking all homeless sucks, bitches. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to get on homeless chuck right now, dude. I do. Uh, but anyway, um, but I'm, I'm but seriously though. It's tough. I've never had to deal with it. I'll never have to deal with it. I'm just curious. Like, is is it can't be the same? Like back in the day, your dad would take you and sit you down and be, like, look, son. It's different for girls for sure, and that's all I can tell you because I have girls. Right. So for me personally, it's like I'm watching them. You know turn into like young ladies. Fifteen's you know I mean? that age though. Yeah. Fifteen's the age where they start to bloom into the young lady part. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's weird, it's right? It's difficult. Very I'm not being difficult. Adi- I'm being serious, though. I am as well, yeah. And, and you've, you've got to be grateful to have a woman in your life that you can kind of bounce off of with that. Oh, uh, yeah. we I bounce off her all the time, dude. Me too. That's what <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no, the, those are just hearts on her freaking bikini <laughs> picks. Sliding in her DMs. <laughs> yeah. More bikini picks. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> No, but but um, you're right. It is an amazing experience to have somebody who's not only um, that type of person, but also is willing to spend the time to engage. You know what I mean? Like you said, to actually engage with uh, my daughters. It's great. It's a great feeling. It's difficult. It's not easy for her either. It's not easy for my kids. It's weird. You know what I mean? But they also have their, their mom, you know, and their grandmas. They have both their grandmas still. You know what I mean? Uh, both their grandfathers. We talked to one tonight, you know, right? Yeah, Rita? yeah. So you know, you cannot count your blessings enough, and you cannot. I I cannot hit, sit here and say how how thankful I am, how blessed I am, how good I am at it. I can't. I can't even touch it. It's just a surreal experience that changes hourly, hourly, dude. It's got ups and downs. It's like the stock market, man. It just goes up. It goes down. You buy. You sell. You, you cave. You, you you take. You know your lumps. You also have those moments of just like extraordinary feelings of, of, of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
accomplishment. You know what I mean? Where you feel like you really got something done. You really got through so, them. You so know you know how Filbert feels? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, he's all like, Arr, it's Arr. Arr. Day. You know, yeah, it's, <laughs> Filbert he's like says, an old pirate, dude, you know? <laughs> he says, I'm way too cool and intelligent for this. I guess, you know. Is he in the chat? Yeah. No, he's not. Filbert Is he really? Says, I see it. Filbert Holly, what's he say? I am way too cool <laughs> and intelligent <laughs> for this. I'm pretty sure I read it once, so I can, I can do it again. Oh, look at now Joni's saying Oh, there's saying. Joni. You mentioned yeah. Filbert, and Joni shows up. Hi, Lisa. Like, it's her favorite cousin, she Lots told me. Lots of Lisa. She, no. What Less. was it really? Less, Less of Lisa. Lisa. Fuck yeah. When I was showing... You heard like, it first here on Kevin Holly. Earlier, no, we. I actually said it before. When I was showing Alexandra the video of GTP in the studio, I didn't get to that part when I was telling you I was showing her videos of bands that I love. No, she mentioned it earlier. Yeah, so... <laughs> every, every three minutes, she's like, dude, look how awesome they are. <laughs> and she's like, dude, I'm butt naked. <laughs> So the the band GTV was Nathaniel. in the studio, Billy and, and Nathaniel, and and um, Lisa was in the back, sitting on the bench. And you Where she belong? And you could less see of Lisa. And I said that to her. I was like, "How about less of Lisa and more G two P?" That's what I said to her in that show. If you recall, go back and listen to it. It was like episode like one thirty something. You'll see it. It says G two P the band. You know, yeah. G two P the band. You know. That's an episode of Kevin Holly. G2P the man was in here? Yeah, dude. Did you get G2P the band in here? I had G2P the band in here. Holy give shit. Give two people. Oh like, my God. I'll give you two people. It's like chess. I give you my two pawns, Billy and Nathaniel, and you give me the your king and queen, uh, Tony, Madden, and Amber Lee Madden. My king and queen is the same person? <laughs> Chicks with dicks. <laughs> Are you t- <laughs> You're talking about me again? So speaking of bands and local bands, sure. Yeah. Another band you've had in here is coming home. The band. Mm-hmm. I gave you a gift today. You did. That I got in the mail. I have it right here. Priority mail. I received it. Look at that. Priority mail. I received this, and I got one of these. You got one of those for you, sir. Now, Thank does you. your car even have a CD player anymore? It, it, I have a, a. I have a new Kia, dude. Yes. It, it I know, but a lot of a lot of them don't. What you, they, they will never admit being on the show with Kevin. Nobody will. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I, I'd fight it, but there's video. <laughs> <laughs> it's been taken down for copyright. They're like, he copyrighted our stuff. I'm like, you were here and played it. What do you mean? Have you ever seen Coming Home to the Band live? Uh, not in person, no. I haven't. That would be live. I, I've seen their live videos so but many times. Never actually I watched it today, actually. Incredible. The show. They're I know, incredible. I know, dude. The, I mean, her voice is insane. Oh, so good. His guitar. She's got that deep, like, mama, oh, the slaves go walking, the slaves go walking. I can picture Tony getting hard instantly. Yeah, of course you could. You sick, <laughs> well, sick different. freak, dude. Why would you even say that, dude? Oh, it's because it's the Kevin Holly show. The That's lotion it's okay. in the basket. Just put the lotion in the basket. But Just put the lotion in the basket. So uh, last week, mm-hmm. what we do here, you, me, mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. do here, mm-hmm. we, have an, we have the luxury well, of I mean, reaching people. It is the dump tower. So I We mean, get to use that word loosely. Do this and, and speak to people, mm-hmm. talk to people, engage with people. And it, it's... Oh, oh, there's a call coming in. Hold on, let's take I'm guessing it. it's Filbert because it's great timing. I don't think so. But then it's Mosh because it's great timing. <laughs> hey. It's the Mosh Market. Mosh, live on the Kevin Holly Show. What's up, dude? What's up? What up, dog? You want to fight? fight? I'll fight both of you, bro, right now. <laughs> hey. Just with the sound of your voice, I can take you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that band that you've never seen live in person, Kevin? Coming home the band. Rubber. Who is that? It's a badass Tampa band. Tony Madden, Amber Lee Madden, the late, great yeah. Jason Brubaker. That's what's up. I'll beat all their asses, bro. Check this out. What? Well, I was tired today, and uh, I was all high, and I got a what? screw in it, and there was air coming out, and so I took a candle and a lighter, and I'm like, if I put this wax on this screw, then the, it'll harden around the screw, and then the air can't get out. Well, so so he, put it, sit- he put it on I'm wax. Sit- 
I put it on wax. I'm sitting there with a lighter and wax to the wax, Super burning accident. wax on my tire, trying to get the mother. It was the funniest thing I ever did. I took the wax in it and everything came out. Did you uh, get high off the wax? Off the kettle wax? You're listening to yeah. me, right? I'll give you one <laughs> guess. <laughs> How long ago was this? Man, you stay high on wax for a while. Hey, man, that wax works. So, Mosh, what, uh, you know... What brings you to call the show tonight? Who's Art Holly? Oh, it's my dad's watching now. Oh, my God. Dad! Hi, Dad! Pops, what's up, Art? It's my dad. You would think uh, with a name like Art, you would have done better with the painting in front of me. That's my middle name. <laughs> my middle name's Art as well. He's definitely not an artist. You yeah. guys needed some life, dog, so I had yeah. to call. So, I'm, Damn, we thank you. Did you make some money on the stock market tonight, Mosh, to be able to buy a new tire? Or are you going to just leave it with the wax screw in it? So where do you want me to punch you in the face, Kevin? I don't know. I'm sorry. I made $340 on my one account, and I made uh, 140 on my other one. Very nice. Oh, Kevin, and what was your tip today from your neighbor? I got a dollar twenty-four cent tip on Uber tonight. So he understands exactly where you're coming from, Mosh. Yeah, I killed it too. Ball and yo, there's an <laughs> oil Uber trips. From- <laughs> yo, there's an oil fucking stock right now that's at forty bucks. That before the crash, it was at like three grand. I uh, I bought an oil stock a couple of days ago for like uh, three dollars a share. And it did a reverse split. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it says, where's yeah. your mask? Those guys look like carriers. <laughs> <laughs> he is, but he's not good at it. That's why he got a dollar thirty six. <laughs> Yo, your fucking sister get, can do a reverse split like I've never seen, bro. Why are you talking? Uh, about, she sent you the same pick. Why are you talking about Stan's <laughs> sister like that, dude? So, because she's hot, bro. I call her Standy. Oh. I want me, Stan's sister, and Stan all in the same room. My sister naked. Will whoop your ass, bro. Yeah, your she's, sister's she's probably got like a beard and like no teeth. She yeah. did when I got done with it. She's all into the bear market, if you know what I'm saying. I put her in the mouth so she couldn't fight me. <laughs> <laughs> she likes rap snacks, bro. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh my god. So, Mosh, where I are you at? Twist you with my sister? <laughs> I'm at my house. I just got Thank done you, handling man. business, man. So, I don't think I won't be in there next week. Thanks for the warning. But, oh, I'm going to come in there. I'm having sex with everything I see. So, y'all better be ready. All right. So, next week on Kevin Holly Show, oh. Stan Dale will not be in the studio. <laughs> I'll not be wearing pants. <laughs> Yo, every moment of next week is going to be fucking riveting, bro. Wow. So, you're staying home again? <laughs> zingers he's got zingers see if y'all weren't ripping on if y'all rip, weren't ripping on me y'all wouldn't even be putting out nothing good you, you know said that saying? four times you would have understood <laughs> hey man if y'all weren't ripping on mosh if y'all rip, 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 ripping on me oh dude that's what the best part about him is though is like he just he just has like a Tourette's episode and just and it rhymes it's the weirdest thing in the world like you ever seen somebody with Tourette's that rhymes when they do it He's like, if y'all, 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about Glick being a pussy. That's right. <laughs> Glick's a pussy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great, dude. We call that the hole with control, my friend. Oh, man. When are we all going golfing? When, when Joni gets here? I don't think. No, when are they reopening? When aren't they reopening? Like next week or some shit? Golf's been opening. Open, dude. You can golf anywhere right now. You just gotta. Can you go to the beach? What about Fred Hotwood or Clearwater Beach? Yeah, this time where you golf. Monday. You can golf at the beach. No, that's at the golf. Hey, man, play some Ma- beach golf. Mosh is confused. That's the Gulf of Mexico, dude. Yo, Monday the <laughs> beaches are open now. <laughs> Monday, yeah. Clear. Uh, Saint. Uh, Pinellas County beaches are open Monday. Uh, six feet apart, no more than 10 people in a group. Sunbathing is okay as long as you follow the protocols. You can surf. You can swim, exercise. So you can get, you can get a hotel and everything? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. In a motel, Holiday Inn. Oh, you get a Holiday Inn and Holiday. That'd be great. Oh, I'm about to have sex, bro. <laughs> well, who's the lucky guy? 
<laughs> uh, with John, as long as he wears a skirt, bro, and he's on the beach, he looks good in a bikini, bro. I'm going out in the hotel, dude. I'm, been, dude. It's a wrap, bro. The guy makes 340 bucks in the stock market today, and all of a sudden he's going out in the beach in a hotel. Yeah, camp stamp from freaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta play the stock market to get a sixty-nine dollar motel on Clearwater Beach. I mean, dude, I'm just gonna go to the hotel, drink two two drinks, offer a bitch to buy me a beer, and then go smash. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer a bitch. I'll let you buy me a beer, bitch. And then we're gonna smash. <laughs> then we're gonna smash, and that's it. So and, then, and then don't tell Kevin because I don't think he'll like that. <laughs> yeah, but what if she leaves a tip for you? Then yeah. you're gonna want to fight her. If you both tip, you get touch tips. Oh. Double it, you know what I mean? And if you snip it, you'd be P- Patel or hey, Pavel. Or Mosh, are, are you Irish? Uh, no, I'm not Irish. Oh. Are you Jewish? Yes. Stan, are you Irish? I am. Because my... Because... Son of a bitch. Because my... Because my cock is doubling. Thank you. Nah, you man. Mosh, you really saved the fucking show. You need to make that up. You yeah. need to make that up, bro. You stole that shit, I'm in the bro. studio and I can't stop that shit. <laughs> So, Mosh, let me ask you, what happened to you today? Why aren't you here? Why am I there? Because I didn't get my car fixed. At the t- I got a flat tire today at like 3 o'clock, and I had to go back and get it fixed. I couldn't get it fixed until like 7. And then I, by the time I did that, I had to eat, shower. I got to work at 5 a.m. Oh, I got to do a you bunch shower? of... shower? He didn't shower. He had a bar mitzvah. I've been in the room with you, bro. He had a bro mitzvah. But here's the thing is... Well, hold so on. Did you use I'm the... I'm just glad that the box of nails I threw behind his vehicle were Yeah. Did you heat up the spoon and then use that to weld your tire back together? You <laughs> sound like your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never used the needle in my life on for drugs, but I bet you have, Kevin. No, but I have pierced my own... Never mind, but I used a needle to do Quick it. says, Kevin tells jokes almost as bad as Mosh raps. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should have... Uh, and Kevin, bro, just see how bad that shit goes. Kevin, bro, your face looks like you play the fucking secret devil in every movie, bro. You're like the <laughs> devil undercover, and at the end of the movie, like you show that you have horns and shit. He's more like the devil wears Prada. <laughs> I like to think I look like a combination of uh, David Koresh and uh, David Koresh. <laughs> Stan is Stan is definitely a goonie. Fucking snake hey. bar having ass. Baby Ruth, motherfucker. Hey, uh, Baby Mosh. Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Ruth. <sighs> what about Baby Rosal? Baby Ruthie, this is going to give me Oh. 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 I, Baby Ruth, what's up? Tell me about my mom. <laughs> about Mama Holly. I'm going to rap about your mom right now. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's a rap about Mosh's mom. Wait for it as it starts here. All right. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Mosh? Yeah. That's the beginning of my rap about your mom. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. This is for you, Mosh. You gotta kill me, dog. I'm waiting for it. Right now. Go ahead. Rosal. Come and see my parasol. It's raining out. But you ain't getting wet, got a parasol for us all. It's like an umbrella for my mama. I was them all. Then I go to work. I put up my parasol, cause it's raining on my way. I see Marsha's mom. Rasol, I say, what's up? Get under my parasol. What are we gonna do in that parasol? Well, I'll tell you what, we're not gonna be getting wet. We're gonna stay nice and dry. Dry. That was hot. Yo, turn that down. Turn that off. Turn that off. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something though. Yo, listen. Well, hold on a second though. If I mean, I'm, I'm in the middle of a rap and you're just gonna tell me to turn it down. I don't do that to you. I mean, you're a famous Man, rapper. You did like, your, you did your rap, dog. I, I mean, it's just that, about to get good though. You know, I mean, you, just, you, you, had, you didn't have any more. more. Okay, okay, maybe I didn't. Maybe Yo, I listen. You want to talk to tell about? Turn me off, and it didn't work. <laughs> you want to talk about a parasol? <laughs> but your girl's pussy so stank nope, that you need to nope, spray in nope, some aerosol. No, 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 no. Yo, his mom's name's Rosal. Got myself a parasol. Got him. 
to get. <laughs> I can't, I can't even do it. Dude. Shut up, Stan! I'm trying to rap. Sorry. Yeah, but when you're in the, when you're rapping about you, someone's girl, you're not really meaning the specific person. You're just saying okay, your no. girl. I mean, but I didn't use the the, the p word. When you say Rose Saul, then you're meaning a specific person. But yeah, see, yeah. I have normal. tougher skin than you, and you're a radio host, so but I don't it's know my how that show, works. so I can just turn you down, and I can turn me up, and I can be like, Yo, I know, Drew. Going to the mall with the parasol. Marsha's name's. Mrs. Rosal, what we gonna do, Sad? What we gonna do, Sad? What we gonna do, Sad? We can't kill him out the goo, can't. Jesus, never rap again, Stan. Oh, never sorry. again. Never do it again. <laughs> I'll never ask you to do it again. Holy shit, that was terrible. Nobody I'm tuned into this show until I called. You know that, right? Whatever, man. It's all. Oh, this look is at the Marsh. worst call that I ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's listening until Marsh calls. I hear us all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm holding this show on my back while I'm remotely, bro. <laughs> remotely. I I'm know. Remotely. It's that's true. Not the show that's on your back. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? This I spit on your assault. Your little fucking two teaspoons? <laughs> I'm looking for some fuck. I'm looking for right, a leader, I got, bro. I got it. I got it. I'll lead it right now. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can't rap. Rissol. She's a murderer. Rissol. She's a murderer. Yo, I take a girl. Her name is Rissol. I take her to the mall, y'all. Rissol. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See, All right, that's yo, that was dope. That was but I just want to say, I eat hurts, you up like Peta. I'm about to talk about a chick named Rita. You know Rita. She's my best friend. Something, but nah, I can't. Yeah, do that thank you. She left you Victory. for motherfucking stand in your face. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Say hi to Catherine Alex Stone. Jo- say Alex hi, Catherine Jones Stone. Would be pissed. Hi, the Stone. Hey, Mark, say hi to Catherine Stone. Hi, Mrs. Stone. Say hi to. Praveen Ruth Thor. Praveen in the house. I told you. My Indian Praveen. connection, man. Praveen Pralines. Yeah, because he eats Pralines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is he related to the Apu that was talking to us earlier? No, dude. Praveen, he's like a track runner, dude. Guy runs circles around people. I can tell. He's fast. He's a fucking Praveen. He, he runs as fast as Mosh raps. But he doesn't trip up on himself, do you? <laughs> Dude, project those things <laughs> You guys gotta project. You guys got a hologram oh. out there, bro. Oh. Dude, my thing we go home and think about like all of my insecurities. I know, dude. And I came up with nothing. <laughs> 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 Like I'm like insecure it. about is not fucking with Mosh because you might cry. Oh, come on. I've never seen Mosh cry. I know. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good to luck, cry bro. for a white guy. <laughs> Good luck. Who's going to cry? The dude that could take the beef or the dude where if you mention his girl, he shuts this whole show down? Wait a minute. You said you could take beef? <laughs> mm, I kind of bought I'll take camping. beef. Mosh can take the beef, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Mark the tape, dude. Mosh can take the beef. I will take beef in the mouth or the, any other orifice. So you got Stan all hyped up again. Look out, everybody. Whoop. Hold on a second. Do you prefer beef tips or, or beef lips? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like or hate when Stan gets into that horny mood. I'm not even in that corny mood. <laughs> what the hell is I that? I want Stan in that horny mood. <sighs> I love it when we don't have phone calls. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to manage this call, dude. I got somebody calling me. Did he just get in your mom's microwave? Hold on, yeah. <laughs> He's going to merge a call. Hold on a second. I, I can't wait to see who it's going to be. Is it going to be Spicoli? I can't hear you. <laughs> Cranky, you live on the Kevin Holly Show. What's up, bro? Cranky. Uh, <clears throat> you put me on there like that. Are you awake, Cranky? Is that his name, Cranky? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cranky, yeah, Cranky. Cranky works great, man. Why do we call you Cranky? I mean, what's up with that? Uh, it's Frankie, bro. Frankie. Hey, what's it's up, crazy. man? My oh, ass is Frankie. No, it's so, Frankie. I, 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 <laughs> what's good with you, bro? You called me, man. Tell me what's good. Uh, I don't blink when I find a twink. Frankie man. needs like a dime bag or something, dude. <laughs> Dude, I don't know where to get that shit. What's up, Frankie? Know, what you want? What What's you need? Up, 
Yeah. Ain't shit. You kind of sound like a... Mosh. You know, he, he sounds like Phoebe from Friends. He sounds like Phoebe's uh, little brother. He's like, what do you like? She's like, what do you like to do? He's, I like to burn stuff. Quick says you should take a lesson from Hoppy. Just let phones go to voicemail. <laughs> I like to melt stuff. Frankie, man, do you like to play with fire? Do I like to play with fire? No. I'm not a pirate. Do you like bars? Are you all right? Is you all right? Am I all right? <laughs> Are you all right? I'm all right. Stand you up. Right. a little shaky, bro. You all right? <laughs> shaky Frankie. You What's up? DTs. <laughs> shaky Frankie in the house. <laughs> shaky Frankie. Oh, you ever been to Hollywood? No. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie, you ever been to Hollywood? Speaking of. What? Frankie, let me, where? let me put you on the hot would. seat. Let me put Frankie on the hot seat real quick. Frankie, are you no, ready? I'm, I'm not so sure about that. Come on. I'm not so sure. It's no, it's, it's no. no big whoop. No you big whoop. You gotta deal. be on the hot seat, bro. Yeah. Put him on. It's no All right, deal. here we go. Hot seat. Yeah. Hot seat for Frankie. Here we go. Five questions for Frankie. Oh, here we go. Frankie's on the hot seat. <laughs> Question number one, Frankie. Have you ever been to a bar? Yes. Bars. All right. Here we go. Question Frankie, number two. Frankie, how long are your skin marks? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Frankie, if you had to decide between uh, one or the other, marry, F, or kill, okay? You can marry, Jesus. F, or kill. I'm going to give you three yeah. names. You tell me which one you'd marry, which one you'd kill, which one you'd, you know. Why do we play this game? Because I mean, we think you can follow it. All right. Here we go, yeah, Frankie. Man. <laughs> Mary F. Kill. I'm going to go with uh, Hillary Rodden Clinton, number one. Mm -hmm. The second one is, is going to be um, Madeleine Albright. And the third one is going to be, uh, let me think for Shaky Frankie. Mush. I'm going to go with, uh, no, no, no. I'm going to go with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, Hillary Rodden Clinton, and Madeleine Albright. Mary F. Kill. What do you got? Oh, boy. Uh, let's answer fuck. I didn't have to miss it, so I would, uh, you know, I guess I'd fuck Marilyn with that one. Okay. Uh, He's good, Hillary. Uh, no, no, you know, I'm, I would, I'm actually, I, I'm actually, 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 i am you know, you can either make Bill. her and you're going to die anyway, or you can marry her and, and get in. Okay, okay. He's uh, got a point. Yeah, next yeah. question. Hot seat. Question number three. All right, here we go. Frankie. Shaky, shaky Frankie on the hot seat here. Question number three. Shaky Frankie are you? Are you ready to go back into into society out, out of quarantine? Fuck no, he ain't. Am I ready to go? I bet we need to go back into society. My life really hasn't changed much with all of this. Um, so you're saying you stay home anyway? <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, I don't really tend to get out, but it, I, you know, I work during the day, I'm home, chill out, whatever. Okay. No, that's cool. My, that's cool. My daily, my daily hasn't changed much. So. So you're you're neutral on that. All right, question number four on the hot seat. Shaky Frankie, Stan, Stan Don has got a question for you. Hot How seat. long does it take you to place an order at the drive-thru? <laughs> uh, <I guess. laughs> Hold on, I'll be. I'll, let's role play. Let's role play. I'll be the I'll be the drive-thru uh, uh, order taker. We'll role play. You're pulling up in your Honda Civic. It's lowered, and uh, and you're turning down the bass music. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Frankie. Hold on a second. Hold on. I got you, Frankie. Uh, just bear with me for a second here. Here we go. Here we go. Where am I ordering from? What am I in? Yeah, you're hot seat, dude. You have to do this. You have to do this. Here we go. You know, you know, you go to the drive-thru. You don't know what you want to take you. Exactly. Hey, 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 I'm not about to place order, Yeah, really. Give me two small fries while you're out there, though, man. I'm hungry. So you have Mosh do it. That's <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'll take it. Yo, hey, for real, though, I work with Frankie. Uh, we we cut grass together. We're on the same crew. It's just me and Frankie. Well, stop we spitting shit into his mouth. <laughs> stop Mama burning him the... 
Uh, okay, okay. Last question. Question number uh, five. Wait, 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 wait. All right, take take the phone out of your mouth. Okay, here we go. Mouth, bro? <laughs> this guy. All right. Excellent. Last question, Frankie. Are you ever going to tune into the Kevin Holly show again? Um, quite possible. And now that means no. That the you better take it. You better take that and run with it. <laughs> He's on the fence. You know what I mean? If Mosh makes me. All right, Frankie, you're a good sport, man. I Frankie, appreciate you playing along, dude. We do love you, bro. Thank you for. Seriously, thank you for playing along. Yeah, that's cool. And, hey, yeah, Frank's that dude, man. He'd be listening to the show, bro. But hey, here, I just want to let y'all know real quick before I go that the only reason. I want Frank hold on, what do you mean? The worst thing about him is you. <laughs> yeah, the best thing about this show was that I called in and people actually <laughs> listened for 20 minutes, bro. So I, when I come back next week, we're going to keep the pace going. Don't be interrupting me. I'm going to bust your ass. Y'all can lick my butthole. Everybody stay trill. Holler at your boy. Hey, Frankie is let, the best. Let me ask you both something real quick. Oh, he ghosted us, man. He ghosted us. I just wanted to make sure that Frankie's not driving the, the lawn truck, dude, you know? I, I don't know if I should turn Or the one on the him. other side of the drive through <laughs> That's why you couldn't hear him. He's in the, what, 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 what would you like? He's in the passenger side, you know? <laughs> My oh. sitting there with a gun going, bitch, you better speak. Yeah, give me my God bless fries, man. <laughs> you tell him how great Mosh is right now. Dude, Mosh is battle rapping the guy in the drive-thru. Anyway, Frankie, nice guy. Shaky Frankie, that's great, man. That's great. That really is, dude. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. Mosh is working on his exit plan for next week. <laughs> he, yeah, he's going to ghost us again, you know? Yeah, dude, I know, but this week, dude, for real, though, I got pulled over. <laughs> uh, Frankie was in the trunk. <laughs> Glixus, actually, everyone tuned out when he called all three of us. <laughs> wow, that's a glick mosh moment right there. They're just going back and forth, dude. You know what I mean? Who's in the chat and Facebook there, Stan? What you got? Who are we talking to over there? We got Sandy. Sandy. My favorite Holly. It says, Art Holly, you should have seen his sneeze across the whole room. Ha <laughs> really. ha! Sneezed into the ground, and I held it in. Sneezes like, ain't pleasing, Kevin. Oh, man. I love your sister. I love your cousin. I love your mom and your dad. What about me? What about me? You have a great family. What about me? What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick, man. How am I a dick? Do you like Shaky Frankie or do you like me or both? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was cold. He's probably the coolest guy in this fucking show. <laughs> you could, it took like. <laughs> I just before. I love the name Shaky Frankie, dude, because he's all shaky. shaky. Breaky so heart. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's my Great. shaky breaky heart. Oh man, Mosh is gonna come in here and he's gonna murder us all, dude. Murt. Oh, murder the show. Mur you. Oh, bring it back, old school. <laughs> Let's uh, play a game and give these people a break. Dude. We, we're about to take a break, though. We don't have time for a game. We've got to take our last break. We've got to be on schedule for the IRN, the Internet Radio Network, ironbroadcast.com. We've got to be on break on schedule, dude. We have a schedule It's break. your fucking show, bro. I'm here, I'm here for you. Well, no, but My I'm here show, for you. My show, we take breaks when... Well, that's the difference, man. That's the difference between I'm here for you. Live and the Kevin Because you have show. control of your show. Yeah, the Kevin Holly Show is, is robust and on time. We hit our posts, we hit our marks, we rejoin, we bumper, we do breaks, we do ah, good fuck. Good, that's, good that's what we're missing. We have listeners. Yeah, you're too busy with your <laughs> listeners. You're too busy with your stupid listeners. You know? <laughs> Hate to have listeners. Yeah, screw your listeners. Your show wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fucking listeners. <laughs> We need more callers. Like, yeah. Mosh. yeah, you do. Shaky Frankie. Yeah, Nitwit in the chat room is saying, yeah, exactly, Kevin. I know what you mean. Thank you, Nitwit. Uh, Spicoli's in the chat room. He says, yeah, exactly, Kevin. Thank you, Nitwit. Thank you, Spicoli. Yeah. Oh, the Glick Talk Glick Show. He's like vape and chill. I know exactly what you mean, Kevin. Thank you. Thank right. you. It, yeah. right. You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. And never wrong. Ask Alexandra. And then we end up. Never wrong. Chugger up. Chugger up. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. Can I will do it. No, nope. I will do it all. Chugga Rob. Chugga 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 Rob. Chugga Rob. Chugga Rob. Chugga Rob. Chugga Rob. Drive a truck. Drive a truck. Chugga Rob. Driving trucks is all he wants to do. Drive a truck. Drive a truck. Drive a truck. Chugga Rob. Drive a truck because he loves you. We're going to take a shaky break. Gotcha. Sorry. Shaky break. Shaky break. Don't break my break. My shaky break. 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 We'll be back in like 35 minutes. Oh, man. Wouldn't it be great if we had Shaky Frankie just talking for like 15 minutes? Shaky Breaky Fart? Sh no, Shaky Breaky Break. Shaky oh. Frankie Break. 
We could, it could be introduced by Shaky Frankie. And we could, I could write something for her. We could collaborate. We Shanky. could write. We well, could no, corroborate. This is prison name. Shaky. Yeah. <laughs> it's his name in high school locker room. Yeah. No, but for real, though. And then, like, Shaky Frankie could just read what we wrote for him, do all our liners, all of our breaks. He could introduce all the, the break music, and I'll arrange it, and we could have a Shaky Frankie break. I think it's great, dude. That's a great idea. Oh, and if we did it with break dance and music, it could be the Shaky Frankie break and break, dude. <laughs> Break into Shaken Boogaloo. <laughs> Electric Shaky Boogaloo. <laughs> I don't think you can I don't think you can say that word. We all look like we had the DTs trying to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. We're gonna get oh my God. To, you know, <sighs> it's the it's the worst turtle race ever. <laughs> <laughs> On that note we'll be right Click. back. Save us, Glick. Nope, you can't save it because we're coming back after the break with the pyramid game. And more with Stan Dondeo on The Kevin Holly Show. If you just tuned in, where the hell have you been? Your favorite community station. Yeah, just, just do it in the morning. Just do it any time of day. Anyone can do it. Just go ahead and do it. Do it. Make someone smile. The Superstation Broadcasting across the Wigan Borough Online and all around the world This is WBRFM Your 24 hour music station in music and entertainment. Keep it right here. Actually, Captain, this species obviously emanates from a superior race of DJs. 
Real radio for real people. This is WBRFM. Y'all niggas got me hot. If you know this shit, sing along. Niggas got me hot. Came on. You take your shots from afar. I'm gonna meet you at your front door. Uh, so hard to be doing what you really meant for beauty. But don't I make it look easy? Don't I make it look good? Hey, you drink up all my liquor. Come on, what I'm supposed to do now? And you tell me, get on that shit. Now come on, you gon' have to back it up. If I get too high now, sugar, come on. I might never come down. I might never come down. You might not ever come down. Nah, nah, I wanna get down. Tell me out now. Nah, 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 I wanna get down. Tell me out now. You might not ever come down. Nah, I wanna get down. You might never, never come down. It took too long to get this. Ha, 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 Put your brains on, let me get these bitches up, let me get the full scope. Full screen HD, let me pull it to the picture, let me holla at the pre show. Cool bees, cool bees, that's a whole lot of reefer, let me help you with the pre roll. You drink, come on, my nigga, come on, what I'm supposed to do now? What I'm supposed to do now? And you talk, get all that shit, now come on, you won't have to back it up, you won't have to back it up. Get too high now, sugar, come on, I might never come down, I might never come down. Kevin Holly Show on the IRN Internet Radio Network. I've got two chihuahuas. I love winning. One time I had a Corvette. I once pooped my pants on the seventh green at a golf course. I enjoy long walks on the beach. You should see my cockle shell collection. You are listening to the IRN Internet Radio Network. I have very impressive cockle shells. Chris Glick on the Kevin Holly Show. When he's in the f- room, he's chatting ch- off. Fails <laughs> and misty. Streets are blue. Almond looks that chill the van. A slow silken moment goes on forever. And we're leaving.
Station. Nobody knows who he is. Whoa, 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 Bro, that was a scene in Chicago when I was coming up in the 90s, man. That was messed on a Skokie. They were on uh, the Jenny Jones show of all places back in the day, man. Talk about supporting Jenny local music. Jenny Jones, that's Johnny's mom. I know, dude, and she's white. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know. It's not hard to figure out. Uh, I used to date a black girl back in the day, a long time ago. Her name was Shala, and uh, she had a white... Johnny's wife used to date a black guy back in the day. <laughs> His name was Shala, too. Now, her, her mom looked like Goldie Hawn, and her dad looked like Richard Pryor. What? Yep. She was a cute chick, man. It was cool. It was a you realize bunch of good friends. His wife was white, right? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's it's really her. That's real. Yeah. They were just on Saturday Night Live. Not just, but a okay. bunch of old ones. <laughs> well, it's got to be old, man. So, anyway, yeah. Let's talk about supporting local music. It's the Kevin Holly Show. We're back. We're live. We've got Stand Down Dale. Support your local music, man. That was a band that played locally back in, like, the Schomburg days, man. You know, you're talking about, like, a punk band playing inside of a garage. You know what I mean? I saw them play, uh, you know, at a, at a small venue. Totally cool, dude, you know? I saw them play at the Masquerade, bro, in Florida. I'm pretty sure it was the Masquerade. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it was. It was the Masquerade. He had pink hair that day. Wore a tie. It's cool. The castle. Yeah. I remember the, the, the uh, dude, the artwork on their album was, like, him in a shopping cart, and they were pushing him before Jackass was cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's what we did, man. Before Jackass was cool. <laughs> when, was it? when was it cool? I don't know, man. When was uh, the Beastie Boys cool for a talk radio program? Oh, when the Jerky Boys cool. Back when Kevin Holly did it. When the Jerky Boys were cool. Long before Drew Garabo ever did it. Oh, oh, what? Oh, you know, you're not saying Drew skills shit, dude. You know. No. Tune in tomorrow at 2 o'clock for the Drew Garabo live show. Shaky Frankie show. Shaky Frankie will be calling in. While they play some Beastie Boys music in the background. Yeah, I heard you on the Kevin Holly show. Oh, man. So, you know what? It's the second... No, it's the third segment of the show. We got Stan. We got Kevin. You want to you want to call the show 727-550-7886. If you're listening to us or watching us on Facebook right now, share it with your friends. Get as many people in the, uh, in the room. We're all hanging out. It's like a Zoom meeting, dude. It's cool. I got a Hawaiian shirt on. Stan's wearing masks. We can wait <laughs> I got it, I got you, man, yeah. Uh... <laughs> that, that one just turns me on. That turns me on, too, man. So anyway, welcome back, everybody. Kevin Holly Show, right here in... We can't call this Dump Tower anymore because look at this place, bro. You have a nice-ass studio now. No, it's still the Dump Tower, dude. I know, but look around, bro. 
you have like moving blankets and shit. That's <laughs> soundproof. It's like the inside of a <laughs> coffin in here, dude. <laughs> I feel <laughs> you know? dead every time I come. <laughs> <laughs> so does the air. <laughs> so thank you, Kevin. Seriously, for letting me push myself into your studio and be oh, a part of your show. Open like. invitation. I said since 2016 when I think I met you, 2015. How long have we been friends now? Like five, six years? Something like that? That's so cute. You say friends. But yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, it's about that long. Actually, I, I yeah. was just going over. It's about four, just over four years. Yeah, there you go. And um, it was one of the greatest things. Like, you just reached out yeah, one day on Facebook. Uh, on the guise of, uh, uh, under the guise of Mike Peter. And said. From the IRN, the Internet Radio Network. If there's any other podcast hosts out there that would like to join my show and start to cross promote, contact me. Pretty much. Yeah. And I did. And here we are, and six feet away. It couldn't have been. It, it, it's a Cinderella story. One of the greatest story. things that ever happened on Facebook for me. <laughs> Aww. Except for Alexander's dick pics um, of you sleeping. Because th- I'm a dick. Yes, yeah. in that shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love but this I do shirt. Thank you for that, for real. Seriously. Well, thank you, dude. And, I couldn't thank you and enough. After meeting you, we've met some great talent. Spicoli. Bro. Spicoli has history. Spicoli has talent. Spicoli has voices. Spicoli has. Oh my god. Smitty. Yeah. Spicoli has this, the greatest co-host there is. The shed. On he's got chickens, right? Well, I mean, yeah, that's because his yard guy has them. Yeah, but, well, you know. but I mean, for real, we've met some good. T- how many you, things? My have, friend, how many things have we met together? Like we saw Oak Ramble together right. at, at PJ Dolan's. Thanks to you, opening up for. Now, Sunshine granted, I'm the one that went up and talked to him and got him on my show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was busy, you know, doing my show live there. Are you, oh, that's right. I was <laughs> doing that too. But okay. <laughs> And Mike was there too with his hairy ass arms. Right, he was still standing back there. Do you, Mike Tyree. Tyree. you saying nothing? So, <laughs> <laughs> but they're awesome. We've met a lot of yeah. sunshine and bullets. Oh, dude, right. I would have never met Rich. And when he brought Amanda in and she sat next to me, I was like, "Wow, this is sunshine and bullets in my studio." You know what I mean? I'm like, "How cool is this?" And this cocksucker Glick who says, "Oh, just tell each other you love them and jerk each other off already." <laughs> <laughs> You were coming up, you prick, until now. <laughs> but things like this, Glick, if I hadn't been on your show, I never would have had Glick in my life. There you go. Your show is I'm a, sorry. Is a, I'm so sorry. M- me too, now that I've met Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger Rob. No, but it's you're real, right, though. You're I'm, right. I'm being real about all this. So no, you've met I, a lot of great people. I appreciate you saying that. I would have never uh, known the band Coming Home the Band. Murder the Crow. I mean, how cool is Sven Couture? You know, and I'm I know glad you, you picked the dorkiest dude. I know, in the fucking. Band I, 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 I knew you were going to say that, but in reality, we both know that I'm slightly gay for uh, David, David Scott. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the guy is a rock star to me. Like, that's uh, how I know you don't know basses. That's fine. You can say that all you want, and, and Alexander can say that I love every band and I love all these people and they're all my favorite and all that stuff. But when it comes down to it, David Scott to me is the epitome of a local Tampa rock star legend. There is nobody more exciting to watch on stage than David Scott. I love that guy. Absolutely love the guy. You know. So this is where me and Alexander are, are together in this. Is what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Glick says, out with the guy. Glick says, I apologize for Haas. He's my fault. <laughs> Haas is the first dude I've ever actually unfriended and kicked off of my Facebook. <laughs> and then now we're best friends. So, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, he's a crass mother effort, so, man. I'm not trying to get all weird, but it's real, though. Like, you are that type of person. You're the type of person to bring other people in. You're trying to do the, the, the same exact thing we're doing. You just do it way more fun, and you're nicer oh, about it. I so I lose all that. my friends to you because you're a dick. Like, <laughs> well, like, oh, you should go do the Kevin Holly show. And then I go, oh, fuck, I lost another friend. I think everybody that's ever come into this studio has left happy, with the exception of Luke McDermott and David Wayne. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, not so, I'm, not sh- 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 I'm not so sure Luke McDermott leaves anywhere happy. Or does anyone that heard his comedy? So. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like the guy, though. He reminded me of that uh, dude from Wedding Crashers, you the little brother. About yourself. Yes, I like the, the, the one that I was always drawing and like watching the dude sleep and drawing about him. That's who he reminded me of. Right. You know, we're talking about talent. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, dude, nothing. I'm not taking anything away from David Wayne. The guy's hilarious, man. David Wayne's awesome, but he's just kind of like, and I'm, I don't want to be like, but, but he like came in here and he saw that that watermelon picture on the wall and he was like, that's so racist. Oh my god. David Wayne, he was just mad because you couldn't eat the motherfucker. <laughs> that looks so delicious, but that black bitch is eating it. <laughs> oh, but what an amazingly funny person. You know what I mean? 
But the community is great. Yeah, it totally is. Hey, you can't win them all. I can't please all of them, and nor are, remember that. I can Kevin. explain. I, I, but please, the ones that are actually paying attention. Yeah, I know, dude. I totally hear you. We talked about this during the break. You so, brought it up. I know. Well, I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. I can't recall. I don't recall. I'm just, I'm just getting them to pay attention. You know that, right? <laughs> I know, dude. I honestly. So though, the stock market was at a hell of time low. <laughs> no, the community, honestly, though, is it's been fantastic, man. It, you know, the the people. It's been a, a couple of months now since we've actually had guests in the studio. Legitimately, a couple of months, and that's really tough to deal with. It's tough to put together a show. You could do all the show prep you want. You could do no show prep. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that there's nothing going on right now. Nobody's playing any gigs anywhere. No one's doing stand-up comedy anywhere. Everything is closed. So it's difficult. The The best thing we can do is support people that are, are still doing like online things. You know what I mean? I think Luke's on the page with you. I'd like to thank Stan for introducing me to Maddie B. Maddie B. Maddie B. Maddie, Matt, Matt Williams. I mean, how? Uh, 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 These guys, we've watched them, dude. We've watched them grow. Oh, From yeah. the musicians to the comedians, but the whole community. And we are lucky enough to have, I've been brought into a position where we meet these people. Yeah. We meet people that actually have talent, unlike us. You know what I mean? And, and it's phenomenal. How crazy is it that the owner of Side Splitters or the owner of Venoms or the owner of, of the Verona is or texting me? Yeah, texting us and, and like saying things like, you know, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, let's get together. How and then great all is it when sudden, your logo for your show is going across the backstage of yeah. Side Splitters? How about, how about the time that I introduced uh, the second set for Slingshot Robot uh, after the Harvest opened up for them? And I was on the top of the stage above Ferg's right next to the Amelie Arena. And, and outside of downtown, there's a thousand people there. And I, I get to grab their microphone. And, and say, hey, this band is great. They've been on my show. I want you to enjoy the second set. It's their new CD, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And I they walked... were all into it, and then you went, they were been on my show. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Then I walked away. You know what's funny, dude? Is I knew they were going to call me up there, because that's why I went. You know, they were like, we'd love for you to introduce our second set. And I was like, are you kidding me? That would be great. It was like one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, right? So I'm like waiting for their second set to start. And it's like intermission and people are getting drinks and going to the bathroom and whatnot. And I'm, dude, I'm wearing a tie and a button down, you know, and, and I go into the bathroom and I'm peeing at the urinal and I hear them go, Hey, where's Kevin Holly at? Bring him up. And I'm like, Oh, and I had to stop midstream and shake it and zip it back up and run up the stairs. Dude, I had to pee the whole time. It was like in the middle of me peeing. How cool was that though? It was like, it was the surreal. Cool part of that is that they, they appreciated you and loved you enough to ask you to do it. They asked me to do it again. That's the coolest part. I, I That's why we did the live show at PJ Dolan's for their second CD. You so know how I mean? many green room shows at the improv have you done? Zero. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But whatever, Stan. <laughs> whatever, man. How many times have you had John Jacobs, John Silman, David Wayne, and uh, uh, Matt Williams Once, on the show at the same time? they didn't talk over each other. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, Are collect- we swinging dicks? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want that. I got a little one. Yeah, you don't want that. With this fucker from six centimeters no. away. Just, just, just. The point is, put it away. It's radio. Yes, we're on the same page. We're on the same path. We're on. The, we have the same goal. It, well, I think we both realize how blessed we are and how cool it is to be a part of the scene. Well, like, well, of course, we have talent too. We're putting together a three-hour radio program. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're doing our things. Big to differ. Well, some of these guys bomb too. You know what I mean? Not well, every Chris show is going to be perfect. Glick talk. I mean, I know. Yeah, it's like kind of like he got kicked off Periscope, yeah. went to Glick yeah, Talk. Yeah, he's really moving up. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing without parental control. Next thing you know, he's going to own a dive bar and go to Blues fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I Glick. <laughs> but anyway, so that brings me to this platform gives us an avenue for to do special things once in a while, and and last week. As we all know, it's already been, it's news, it's old news. We had an opportunity to play Coming Home's brand new CD, yeah. front to back, with a slideshow of the... All the different pictures and things of, of, of Jason. Jason's life, yeah. And that was last week on uh, Open Mic Live, openmiketheshow.com. You can still pull it up and watch it. And I, I got to tell you... That's fantastic. When you first think about doing that, it almost feels selfish, you know, like, but then you realize it's not like they know where you're coming from. Um, the dude's dad showed up and it was like one of the first times that he was able to mingle with 
the, all of his sons, the listeners, people, and they got the to community. See all of the love that he really created. Out there. That was the most special part of it to me. That was one of the biggest healing moments of my week mm -hmm. from the time that it happened. Yeah, that's tough, man. So, for those of you listening, for the I think everybody for showing up, and yeah. I thank Michael Tyree for making it happen because he's the one who made it happen. All I did was come up with the idea. Mike Tyree did everything else, for real. I went to talk before the show and, quite frankly, got nothing out that I wanted to say because I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? And I thank you. I thank Mike. I thank everyone for for creating this platform like that because we will be able to have important moments like that that aren't about us. Oh, man. And you don't want that to ever happen. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that... It doesn't matter. It, whether, it, whether it's a premiere for something... Whether it's that, whether it's somber or or happy, one way or the other, we have a platform to reach people. Well, you made that the, you use that platform to make the most somber thing happy. You know what I mean? I mean, people were making fun of some of the pictures in the slideshow. It was funny. You you looked like Doctor Seuss in one of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's funny, dude. And that's that's what to me was the most special part of it was that the the man's father was in the chat and was watching those slideshows and listening to his son's music. Uh, his and his the love son. that he created. Yeah, dude. You know, and that to me, it, it solidifies the 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 community that we always talk about. How it's a big family. How and I'm thrust into this. I didn't start off with this stuff. I didn't know any of you guys. I just started doing a, a, a podcast against the wall in a kitchen at Jay's house. You know, and all, all of a sudden, you know, <clears throat> five years into it, we've got all these special people, these bands, these comedians, these authors, these uh, doctors Whatever. and lawyers, man. You know, I've had literally, I had Robert Dushman on the show. Uh, we've had Talk Dr. Larry Shrantown on the show. Years. It's cool, dude. You know what I mean? And, and when people, there's sometimes every once in a while, somebody will reach out to me and ask to be on the show. You know what I mean? And one of those people is, is yeah, going maybe. to be on the show soon. And it's like this, this model girl that, that does all these photo shoots. And the reason that, um, she wants to be on the show is because the person that uh, photographs her is is the same person that did a photo for some of these bands. And he's like, hey, I've got my own business. I do photography, not just these bands and, and whatnot, but I also shoot models and, and, you know, these biker events and, you know, all this different stuff. I think it's, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Yeah, I should be more prepared, but um, uh, it's uh, PJC Photos is the name of the, 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 the deal. And uh, he wants to bring in one of his clients, man. This this like the super cool like model chick. So Mosh won't be here that week. <laughs> we'll we'll have to put him in like a Hannibal Lecter suit. <laughs> what I'm saying is the, the community itself is strong. Like for example, well it's a, it's an like, honor to they, have somebody ask like that, dude. How cool is that? You know, coming home, put out their press play. Go to coming home, coming home, no no G, coming home the band dot com, press play for Jason. And it's on Spotify I, too. And there's comedians and friends and people that have never met this guy have never met the band that are out there buying cds fucking hit and play all to be a solid part of this community and not only and that that's I the thing is guarantee me solid community dude you're right and i guarantee you that as soon as they hit play they're like whoa whoa hold on a second this really? is really good music dude you know what and, i mean and that's and that's the thing is yeah we're not pushing garbage no, and I'm not, and I'm not telling my. Years ago. I'm not telling my girlfriend. I love this band. I love that bass player, David Scott. I, I love uh, the way that Doug Bailey uh, uh, sings with his heart. I'm not saying that because I just want to pimp out these people for my own benefit. I'm saying it because I truly enjoy. Because you're it. annoying, and that too. You know what I mean? Speaking of annoying, it's time to do my favorite thing on the show, Stan. It's a staple of the show. Are we gonna play a game? Yeah. Before I do, I want to read the chat Hold real on. quick. Before that, what? Come home to band.com. Go there, press play. Got it. All right. Coming Home did an interview last night with a podcast called Live and Amplified. Live and Amplified. Go check out their interview with them, if you will, cool, please. Cool. And go buy merch. Go buy merch from these people. It, it Jason's looking down and watching numbers. All right? Dude, I saw Tony Come Madden. Man. They had a post on Facebook where Tony was like, hard at work making merch. And he had like this black light and he was like shining it down on these like keychains or earrings that he was making with the logo that you're going to get tattooed on your chest. And, uh, it, I was like, please don't bring that black light to the Kevin Holly show studios because Stan's been here. He's been a regular. I don't want to know what's on the walls, the carpet, the ceiling. Real quick before we go to your game, yeah. Glick points out, Glick came down here as an outsider Glick because of us. Yeah. 
or even the, well, our guests know who Glick is because of us, because he's coming to our chat boards while they were on the show. He's also uh, been uh, affiliated a little bit with uh, Cat Nemo and Hoppy, uh, being but from Cleveland and stuff. For so our, for our guests, some of their friends know too. They know his name from being in the chat board while they were of on course. our shows. Yes. He met some of those bands. He met some of those people, some of those comics. Blew him out of the water. And they were so welcoming to him. And he's pointing out right now, dude, when I came down there, everyone was so fucking cool. Yeah. It, it was incredible. Oh, you're a Glick. Oh, come here, dude. Sit up front. And Give that's me a hug. I felt bad for Let me buy you a beer. Blowing up Glick and then, then finding out he was just a dick. Yeah, and I blew up an air mattress for him and he deflated it with his fat and ass. And I offered him a place to stay and then rejected him. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> and then stole his swag bag, so fuck off, Glick. I've got a picture of him asleep in a chair upright next to my pool on my I, dude. At like four in the morning, he's asleep. Yeah, Sitting but so up. is Aron. He's just his dick in his mouth. <laughs> All right, let's play a game. All right, let's play a game, man. Um, I think it's time for the pyramid game. You want to play the pyramid game? Here we go. What happened? What'd you do? Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the pyramid game on the Kevin Holly Show. Put on your pukey radio voice. All right, we're going to play the pyramid game. Ooh, we get ticky 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 <laughs> Shaky Freaky on that Kevin Holly Show. Pyramid game. We should have kept them on the phone for the pyramid game, dude. He'd have been like, uh, 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 first word, uh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> All right, we're going to play the pyramid game. It's where we come up with uh, five words. We quiz each other with clues, just like the old $100,000 pyramid game back in the 70s, where you hear the clues, just try to guess the word, just try to guess the word. Just try to guess the word. And, uh, Stan, I got my five words. Do you have your five words ready? I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Oh, you'll go first. I will. Oh, oh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and put 30 seconds on the board here for you, Stan. And uh, hold on a second. Let me just let me just go ahead and kill that. It's tough to do with this solo. It's just, it's tough. It's like... Uh, Click says, please don't bring up the repressed memories of what Aaron did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor A. Hey, if it wasn't for A.A. Ron and Glick, I would never have played PUBG. Dude, I changed time. and made a fucking bar with some bitch that didn't matter. So, uh, Ready? Um, yeah, it's time for the pyramid game. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan Downdale is going to quiz me first. Stan, I'm ready. Are you ready? I am. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the board. I'm ready. The topic of many jokes. But... Yours called in tonight. Moms. <laughs> oh, where's the right answer button? Yeah, all right, all right, 30 seconds. There we go. Question number two. Um, your mom's favorite kid is one of these. Really? A girl. No, um, if it's not a son, it's a... Daughter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. Um, you hit on pre-these, but your girlfriend shops in this section for your shirts pre-teens but if you take the pre out teens okay <laughs> I hate you <laughs> number four Glick got them all right so far by the way so um these these take you need to water these for them to flourish flowers <laughs> my shirt yeah alright last one Okay, I'm not blank, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Gay. <laughs> Too easy, but I'll take it. So let me see if I can remember all five words. There's probably a theme to this. Uh, moms. Mom. Mom. Daughter. Daughter. I got this, bro. Okay, I got I'm this. I'm supposed to read them back to you. you know no, that, I'm right? going to guess them it's all. It's your show, but I know how it works. Okay, fine. Mom, daughter, teen, flowers, and gay. Mom, daughter, teen, flower, gay. All things that Alexander thought about when she bought me these shirts. All things that are related to your shirt. So your mom bought you that shirt. Actually, your mom bought her, your sister that shirt that you stole it from. When you were a teen, it's got flowers all over it, which makes you gay. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. I got five out of six. No I bonus. Went, that's why I went first. Total dick, man. I need to go second. That's not fair. It's not even fair, dude. What? Because there's no way I could guess that long ass, drawn out conclusion of your questions. I, I made it up actually right there at the end. <laughs> you got nothing written down. It's a blank paper. No, I mean, like, I literally. Yeah, I know. I, I, I put all those things together as we were speaking. Total dick move, man. That's the difference between me and 
And fucking, you know, Maj and fucking, what's up, bro? I can't, I can't mumble rap, but I can mumble gas. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'll go rumble. Rap. All right, all right. <clears throat> Pyramid game, here we go. Stan, are you ready? Here's my five words. Quizzing Stan. Pyramid game on the Kevin Holly Show. Quizzing Stan, I live there. Oh, man. this I just got a little bit of a butterfly in my stomach. This is so good. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the board. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. This is a person's first name. Um, Rita. No, no, no. Uh, the vice... It's, it's, it's a little bit more than the, vi- the vice president uh, that's running for president now. Pence. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, he was the vice president for Obama. Mandeliza. His first name was... Joe. Okay, and and he has eyes so that he can see. So his name is Josie. Thank you. God bless it. And oh, pussy, you're good. And the pussy cats. Josie. Glick said Joe. Let's just wait for it to scroll up and see if he got Josie. Because Glick seems he got it. Glick's not an idiot. Okay. Except for watching this show, he's not an idiot. <laughs> Doing his own show on TikTok. All right. <laughs> All right. Look, look, it could be it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number two. Uh, the opposite of short. Is tall. Um. Um. My Long. Nice. Way to move it along, Stan. Okay. Oh, question wow. number three. Here we go. Uh. If we didn't have to be on lockdown right now, and you wanted to go somewhere far away from free. home, you want to go away from home on a on, on a holiday. You could also call that a trip. Close. Uh. You're going vacation. Yes, vacation. Very good. Um, okay, question number four. Here we go. Um, okay, okay. I'm nearsighted, so I'm I... am farsighted. You're... So, take sighted out. I'm far. Far, yes. I was going to go Brett Farva. Farv? Farva? Thank you for not doing that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for not being a douche. It's a long way to go still, dude. Question number five. <laughs> Playing a long way away. <laughs> you already got it, dude. What's the last word he said? Away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you got all five, dude. That's ridiculously away. awesome. How did you manage to do because that? I'm not mosh, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, you got uh, the first word was Josie. Long, vacation, far, away. Joe sees a vacation far away. Long far away. Come around and talk it over. So many things that I want to say. I just want to use your love tonight. Yeah, come on, man. What's up, Joni? Joni, I love you. Come on, sing it, Stan. Here's, I'll put the words up for you, bro. No one's around when I'm in trouble. You know what the way to play for you. Stay in the night, but keep it undercover. I just want to use your love tonight. Come on, stand, sing it. I don't want to lose your love tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah, Stan, you got it, bro. One more time, let's do it. You just want Joni's love tonight, man. That's Josie, but whatever, it rhymes. You're not Mosh. After 12. Are <laughs> Joni, are you listening? Because this is Stan for you. <laughs> it's been a while since we were alone. And don't forget what I told you Just cause you were right on me no wrong I never show love to cry I just wanna use your love tonight Come on, stand sing it! Yeah. I don't wanna lose your love tonight I just want to use your love tonight. 
tonight. We're done, man. We're done here. What do you want to do, Kevin? I just want to use your love tonight, sir. That's all I want to do. We might be leaving leaving the studio, Alexander. Way to go, Stan. Six out of six. You got it. Oh man. Tony says I don't want to use Stan's love tonight. Yeah. We're still a couple months away. <laughs> she looks. I she gotta did. see how he golfs first. Yeah. <laughs> Need oh. a hole in this one till I see one. <laughs> Jimmy, that was for you right there. My five words. We love Chompy. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, dude. <laughs> you got a great singing voice, Stan. You have a suck a dick freaking. <laughs> Please don't ever sing it again, bro. Ever, ever, ever again. No, we're just doing that. Let's go. 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 Let's <laughs> Welcome back to the Kevin Holly Show, everybody. That was a lot of fun, man. The Pyramid Game, Glick's the big winner. Swag Pack, coming your way, Glick. Dude, the Chuck E. Cheese band is better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those evil little creatures, dude? <laughs> you, you, did, were they evil? Yes. I used to think they were awesome. No, they would wake up in the middle of the night and just start singing for no reason. Are you serious? Dude, in my room when I was sleeping. You never ran up and just grabbed the microphone when I'm going to start singing? Oh, I tackled one. I gang tackled one, man. Yeah. Chucky himself. Yeah. Oh, that Chucky will whoop your ass. He's not but... full of cheese, I can tell you that much. Oh. No. I got... V is for love. Oh, you got a... What is that? A dick pic book? I have a dick pic book. What do you got there? What is it, Stan? What is it? It's a book. I have a book, too. It's... It's... It's it's a is it's a picture of Filbert in there. How to take better dick pics? I got it for my birthday. No Christmas. How to take better no. dick pics in a in a fun house. <laughs> the <aunt. laughs> it's written by Dick Long. Dude, there's no better place to take dick pics than in a fucking house of mirrors. Go ahead and just read chapter one if you would. I can do that. All right. I mean, I don't want to take away your book. The history of the dick pic. No one really knows with certainty when the first dick pic was erected. <laughs> However, by using the process of elimination in carefully defined terms, we can arrive at a conclusion that's not entirely vague. Like this show. <laughs> Theories point to cave paintings in the ancient times of a man with a penis. Hyro dick clicks. Of dick a man as with a, a dick of a click. man with a penis. Hyro glick pics. <laughs> as the first dick pic. But can ancient cave paintings be considered a pic? In order to answer this question, we must first define a couple of things. The term pic, in this context, it is defined as a photograph. And the term photograph is defined as a picture made of using a camera. Bingo. B-I-N-G-O. For those that can't spell bingo. <laughs> a camera is needed to take a pic. Therefore, we can safely conclude that the first take pic wasn't raised <laughs> <laughs> during ancient times. <laughs> You call me old? Dude, the best dick pic book I've ever had was a pop-up book. <laughs> <laughs> you used to sit on it, you know? Where's my book? I don't know. You're sitting on it. You had to rub it like a genie lamp for it to fucking actually work. <laughs> if you sit on your hand and make it numb and then do it, it's like someone's reading it to so why you. Why am I reading this? I don't know. Oh, at some point since then, a man grabbed his camera, pulled out his dick, and photographed it. <laughs> Perhaps he even shared this with someone. Hold on, us. hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I don't mean to stop you. But the Glick says in the chat room, is there a chapter on taking a chipped dick pic? <laughs> Since a monumental moment in history, especially with recent advances in technology, such as the internet, chipped dick pics have been <laughs> taken and shared millions and millions of times over. Yeah, they have. Thank you. Yes, thanks to technology and the internet, chipped dick pics that's why we haven't had World War Three yet, because my chip dick pics have been out there and have calmed everybody down. So, like Kevin Holly's dick pic, there is a little surprise. <laughs> no one Stan really knows. What? You can't stop reading this book, dude. You're enthralled with it. Uh, I'm waiting for the chick part. <laughs> there's no chick part. There's a chip part. There's dicks. There's chicks. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, we should get a. Chick Celestial dick, dick pics. Chick dick pics. Celestial dick Chicks with dicks that take dick pics. 
Oh, I just rhyme better Joni, than Joni, are you available? Oh, my <laughs> God. Um, there's another ex excerpt of this book. Every sodomite butthole will get cancer in the butthole. Right, It'll burn and burn and burn. What does that say? Is that what he says? What? <laughs> uh, oh, man. So, so is so, anyone out there, have you ever sent a dick pic? Me? No, I've, well, yes. I have. I sent one to Joni. It was like <laughs> Filbert in the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you ever sent one? Have you well, ever gotten one? I've No, I've never gotten one. Well, yes, I have. Has your girlfriend ever gotten one? <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, I've sent them to my girlfriend. What? So you have sent a dick pic? Well, so, I mean, there's like... I've, I've sent enough. pictures. We're not here a lot. How to show size? Yeah, you zoom out. Panoramic. That's how I do it. You know? That's the only way I can get it all in. What? Chicks with dicks, those are Mosh's favorite. Says Glick in the chat room. Glick and Mosh should just fucking wrestle, dude. You know? Glick will whoop Mosh's ass. They should just get butt naked and wrestle. You know Glick will whoop Mosh's ass. I don't think I know know that. I don't think I know anybody that could beat up Glick. I think Glick is like the supreme male beater upper guy. I'm not afraid of Glick. He could beat up, beat down, beat off anybody. I'm not afraid of Glick. I'll just bring Iron around hostel way. Uh, that, now, Aaron's got like, uh, I don't want to use the R word, but he's, he's got, got glick dick pics. He's got R word strength. You know what I'm saying? A Aaron's got like, you know, like, and then he goes nuts and just obliterates everybody. Hold on. What? This fucking, this, this is a terrible book. This book teaches. It's like the next How to show size. And there's, at the top, there's a picture of uh, your typical penis pic. You would know. And a can of beer. Okay. And it says, I get it. There will be times you will want to show the size of your Peter. <laughs> Most guys will grab the TV remote, a cucumber from the fridge, or a can of beer. Don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, put a little more thought into it. Get in the car, drive to the store, and buy a bar of dark chocolate or a small bottle of wine. <laughs> Not a big bottle of wine. It will make your dick look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> small bottle of wine next to your dick. It's like, you know, it's an ugly chick. It's a great you. idea. Who the fuck have you ever grabbed the remote control and went, unless it's a Roku remote? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know what Roku was. Fuck you, I do, because I've used it for sizing. Okay. <laughs> now now we know. Now we know the truth, you know? <sighs> Why did you give me that book? I don't know, man, but you touched it. You shouldn't have. I'm taking it home. You should wash your hands. <clears throat> I was on a cruise once, and there was this guy singing with was a guitar. Was it called Book Trip? No. And he was, he was uh, outside of the uh, main dining hall, the mess hall, if you will. And there was hand sanitizer next to him, and he played guitar, and he, and he was like from like Uruguay, Uruguay, I think it's called. Would you call me? Yeah, and he was like, "Please wash your hands." Oh, oh, oh! And he sang like this whole song for hours, dude. It made everybody wash wash their hands. Greg says, "Get a pack of Smarties." <laughs> <laughs> what were those like really gross wafers, the little circle ones? Remember those? They're not. They're not gross, bro. Okay, but what were they called? Huh? Because that's about the size of. M Mosh's dick. <laughs> and it's fruity too. What the hell were they called? Uh, waif wafers. Uh, I don't know. Google it, dude. Someone tell us what those were. The, the all sugar powdery looking Little wafer things that discs. were in the, in the wax paper. Yeah, it was like a whole stack of them. Kind of like Smarties, but but different. Smart Smarties were one of my favorite Halloween candies ever, bro. Well, I mean, you looked like a jack-o'-lantern back then, so... Oh. Then I found out they don't work. Yeah, they don't make you smart? Yeah. No, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you're just know. hanging out with Mosh. And right click, right click, my boy. Right. Oh, yeah, what's up, Glick? <laughs> oh, here's 27 cents. Now, oh. you know, Glick's into old-school rap, right? Like, Glick is, oh, yeah. is an old-school rap. Like uh, Eric B. and Rakim? Those are his parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he likes Air, isn't it? Air, I was Air, really being like to hear Glick battle rap Mosh for real. Because <laughs> even if Glick loses, he's gonna whoop his ass and win anyway. I don't know, dude. I don't know if he's this is a journey bro. into sound. Remember this? This whole show is a journey into sound. You know what I mean? You said what did you tell me before the show? What did you say about this show? Something weird was gonna happen. And what do you think at this point we're we're what? 
Five minutes from closing time. Mm-hmm. What do you think is the weirdest thing that's happened? Tonight? Oh, Shaky Frankie for sure. Shaky Frankie. I would have to agree with Shaky Frankie. Shanky, or... Shanky was the best. If he was in prison, he'd be Shanky Frankie. He's <laughs> like, I don't know who to stab. I'm just going to stab everybody. Stay away from me, man. Stirring pockets everywhere. I'm innocent. I didn't do shit. Yeah. I'm going to shake you. Change. Yeah. He's, that's his job in prison. Like, some people do laundry. Other people give you drugs. There's some people... Some people... Stop. Some people... Wait, hold Say on. Say hi to your sister. Hi, sister. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Schnoss. Hi, Giggle hand. Snort. Hi, so, Sandy. So so he's, his job was to make shanks for everybody. Mom said just, you were her favorite. I know. I am her favorite. No, Sandy. Ask my sister who's her favorite. Be Kev Doc. Oh, my God. You always think the other one is their favorite. No, I know. Clearly, I'm the favorite. I'm my brother and sister's that? favorite. I'm my mom's favorite. Well, my dad's she favorite. About the most. I'm the favorite uncle too. That's why she gives you the most attention is because she's worried about. No, because she needs me to she do things. She knows Sandy's okay. No, she needs me to do things for her. Like, can you come take my garbage out? Do I'm a delicate that? flower. Can you come over and mow my lawn? Can you come spray the wasps' nests? Wasps' nests. Give her ask for your allowance. <laughs> Bob Ritter did <laughs> that fucking dick. Fuck you, Bob Ritter. Bitch, you ain't giving me allowance in years. <laughs> you know who Bob Ritter is? Nobody he does. Because he doesn't he, exist. He does exist. Yeah, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that my sister knows exactly who Bob Ritter is. I do too. Yeah. But now I learned to earn because I'm righteous. I feel great, so maybe I might get one of their friends. Four, nine, five. <laughs> right now, Glick is standing in front of his TV on Periscope with his phone, and he's dancing to Rakim and Eric B. So keep going with what you're saying, because I really interrupted I really wasn't saying anything. <laughs> yeah, that's why Cassandra tuned back out. Which is my favorite dish, but without the money, it's still a wish. Because I don't like to dream about getting paid, so I dig into the books of the rhymes that I made. Soon as a test to see if I got pulled, hit the studio, because I'm paid in full. I'm paid in full. I hit the Kevin Holly Show studio, because I'm paid in full. Yeah. So you got no. Three. Ah. Bye, George. Bye, George. Bye, George. Even Look, they got white girls dancing. Pump up the volume. Pump, pump up, up the, the volume. volume. Yeah, wait a minute, you better talk to my <laughs> mother. Good time singing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, just turn the volume down, guys. Seriously, you know, you don't want your kids to hear this. It's what not safe for work. It's written in Pavel's language. Look. Oh yeah, it is. Oh my God, look at that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's hieroglyphics. Pavel, what did they say? And there he is. <laughs> there he is, dude. It's Gorbachev. <laughs> yeah, what happened to peace, man? It's Brobachev, bitch. Oh, <laughs> hieroglyphics. <laughs> Come on, dude. I said it like four times. You never heard it. Hiero- I heard you every Hiero- time. Oh, damn it. Me ignoring you doesn't mean I didn't hear you, Kevin. And me playing it loud. It's fresh. It's fresh. Look at this band, Sean. All right, dude, we're done. No, we're no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Hurry up. We got a minute. We're done. Oh, Kevin, all show's over, bro. Hey, real quick. Kevin, thank you for letting me be part of the show. Oh, Stan, thank Sandy, you for being a part of the show. Thank you for being a better Holly than Kevin is. <laughs> thank you for having Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> and Art, thank you for... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, love you. Sandy, Philbert, love you. My family, all my friends out there listening. Alexandra, all the people in the chat, all the people that called in, Shaky Frankie, all what's the people up? That out. <laughs> we'll be ra- we'll be back <laughs> next week with more of the Kevin Ollie Show. Stan, thank you for coming in, dude. I love you. Well, I see you next week. I love you too. I, I told you I was committed. Right? All right, yeah, he's committed for sure. Have I proven it? He's got issues. Have I proven it? All right, love you. Kevin, Kevin, yes, he proved it. Stop hitting! Ow! Stop! Stop it! I'd like to thank you for listening to the Kevin Holly Show. I hope you've had as much fun as we have bringing it to you. It's really been a pleasure. And be sure and get us again next week. Okay. Bye bye.